starting. Too many already. You ready with you done had seven phone calls. I know, I know for real. I know for real. It's like I don't even need to say no more than what the fuck I said. Are you cussing? I say real mean drink. I kinda mumbled that. Did that count? Ah, right, we we started. No, I, I pressed the <laughs> We're starting right now. This is Eddie Baker. I'm Chetty Sosa. And this is Blunt Talk. Yes, we have a sign now. The the production quality on the set. We coming up, man. We coming up in life, man. It only gets better over time. You know what I'm saying? It only gets better over time. More. It took a little time. We talked about the sign for like, what, a year? Did we talk about the sign for a year? Like a year. We played it in a lot of episodes. You know what I'm saying? But we got it now, you feel me? We got to put in the work for the sign. We got the sign now. It's very nice. <laughs> what we were talking about, we were talking about. I feel accomplished with the sign. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, huh? I don't know why I was feel accomplished. You know what's so sign. funny? It's official. It, it was one of those things too. Like it wasn't a big plan. When I had got back from New Mexico, I just like was driving, and I I, I always drive past this sign store all the time. I always drive past this sign store, and uh, I don't know when I got back from New Mexico, I was just so like I just saw it, and I was like, I need to go get the sign right now. Like it's no, I don't need to make it a big thing or like where I fucking. Issues that's right there, you know what I'm saying? Safety right there. They know there. it's not perfect. They know, yeah, they they know it's blunt talk. We're gonna have it up there soon. We yeah. just we wasn't ready. Actually, Baker forgot it in the car. I forgot it in the car. Right it, was, right. it was really supposed to be already here posted. It was honestly. so sporadic though. How? Because I just was, I always drive past this sign store and I just fucking happen to remember. Can you beep that? Did that count? Did it count if we get a beep on it? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not, the curse I'm not in charge of I'm YouTube. Gonna, I don't know. I don't know to these be honest, things. We got demonetized regardless of the fact that we bleeped all the curse words out in the first five, five minutes. Is it because of the topic? It's definitely because of content. Are we well, just too raw? What are we talking no, about? So it's not just me cursing. No, it's not just smoking. It's it's like a culmination, of a bunch of things. Damn. So we can't talk about nothing ever. Nothing. You know what it is. Nothing. We're gonna have to do on some stuff like uh, Patreon. Oh, no, nah, I wouldn't say Patreon. I just say like, why are we getting monetized for talking when everybody Rumble. does it? We're gonna have to. Uh, we are going to have to like start getting guests. We're just gonna have to like. Get, we're gonna just have to get so big off the podcast that we get money from other places like sponsorships and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Cause we gonna forever get demonetized because of topics now. We need to like, dang, should I just call Adam and be like, what do I need to talk to you? Even though, we're not beefing with Adam, by the Why way. Why would are I we, be beefing with Adam? Are we beefing with Adam? What do you mean? Is it, is it podcast beef? No. Yes. I don't play. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to call Adam and I need to be like, look, we're getting demonetized a lot. Every video. Damn near every video. Every video? I just got to watch the, I just got to read the YouTube We're channels. not. We're not getting demonetized every video. Literally the last four episodes you we've done, like, every single one is The been, Phoenix one too? No, Phoenix, Wolf. And a couple of your solo ones before. What about Taylor? Hell no. What? The monetize? For sure. Oh my God. Were we talking crazy? Crazy. crazy. You know what's so crazy? crazy. When, I, <laughs> when I went to New Mexico, when I went to New Mexico, you know, I was around a lot of athletes and stuff. You know? uh-huh. And it just made me realize, like, damn, like, I'm really like a little raunchy mother snucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like that word, raunchy. I mean, I'm trying to, like, I'm like, really, I don't know. I don't know why. I'm, I'm gritty. Zone. I'm like gritty. We're all gritty. You're gritty. You're gritty too. Like, put you in an environment not around people that you know. Put you like in like, act like yourself. Don't like act like I'm the, good. The uniform, but like just act like yourself. I'm good. Yeah, but you're gonna be the raunchiest person in there. Like, why like, though? I don't know why we're like this. We're, what we're, you mean I'm be the raunchiest? Like person. our sense of humor, the way we talk to each other, all that. It's like only our little circle. I'm realizing people like, don't act like people don't act like us. No. We're crazy. We are crazy. And like at first when I was like getting older, I was like, maybe I'm not even like, I know people crazier than me. I know people wilder than me. But like I'm pretty like I swear I I'm feel a like character. I feel like everybody acts just like us, the no. whole world. I don't no? Heck I'm a character. No. What do we do that, that people don't do? I feel like we do everything people do. We're just raunchy. We're just raw. Uh, yeah. Our topics when we talk about yeah. how we talk. Okay. How like, we talk to each other. Like, like I was kicking it with one of the friends talk. I was kicking it with one of the homies and he's like, No. Ass. You talk to your friends like, like, like that? The whole, like the whole, I do, I do, what? Uh, but the whole calling each other the B word, like as an endearing Everybody does thing, that. I don't think everybody does that. Nah, bro. some people. Bro, there's some friends some that people, I have that I would do. Some that people take like, it, everybody does that. Some people take it serious, <laughs> no. but it's not that serious. Like, I'm not, I don't really think you're a bitch. It like, depends on context. We're talking in context. Uh, after all that. Look, 
<laughs> he was watching it. You were watching the clock. That was a B word. I hate it. Did the B word count? The B word didn't count, does it? I have to read the, the terms. Why you read the manual yet? I haven't read them yet. You gotta read no, the YouTube manual, you man. I just, but I just really love it. I feel you, you man. Feel me, that five minutes, bring that blood. It's, that's all I was yeah. waiting for. Blood talk, right? But uh, we need like an alarm that'll go off after five minutes. You can cuss and smoke. Talk. Time to smoke. <laughs> you can cuss and smoke. Time. Activate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I, I'm not even certain if it's five minutes. I, I think we just all kind of. Like, I, I want the big baby. That's that. what big baby said. Yeah, five minutes, y'all can light up. <laughs> yeah, he was, he put the out. That's what I'm saying. So it seems like five minutes is what it is. But I just realized that though. we're just very raunchy though. We're raunchy. You just put us like in the like. So when you was in New Mexico, how they act then? They're just it was a lot of athletes because they're fighters. They were like you know. Everybody athletes. was serious then. Yeah, athletes are more serious. They're not like too sure. jokey. They t- they more. Yeah, like, I like I was kicking at one of my homies out there. I'm not gonna say his name, but we were like why? Party. Because we were partying a little bit. Oh okay, y'all was doing drugs? No, no drugs. Okay. At all. no drugs, no sex, none of that. But like, you know, we had went to the strip club and we were just talking. We got the bond over there. Actually, when my, my boy, my boy Davion, shout out to Davion Franklin. It's my boy. You uh, said no names and then said his name? I mean, we, part, we partied a little bit. You know, this, this dude's a snitch. Socialized. <laughs> socialized. He's socialized. He giving up a name quick. But no, I was just saying, like, different topics that we were talking about, like, my, like, thoughts on the topics were uh-huh. way more, like... Different than his? Yeah, and it was just like, you know, I'm just, I'm just realized, like, I've been a rapper since I was 19. Like, my, I, mind's, my mind's messed up a little. Yeah, like, my mind is still, like, in... 2009, damn near, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 2000, like, I wouldn't say, like, I feel like a big-ass kid. Nah. You don't right. feel like a big kid? I swear I thought about that today. I feel I like swear a big kid, bro. Nah. Okay, like, a- I feel more like a grown man now, for sure. I feel more, like, of course I feel like a grown man, but I feel like a big kid. Like, like because when I get around other people my you age. You know why I don't feel like a big kid? Why? I got bills. That don't mean nothing, though. Everybody big kids, they got bills. I've been having bills for years. Big kids, yeah. they got bills. You bills don't kid. make you feel older. I, I think it's the accomplishments, like, your goal, like, Cause I don't, f- I feel like my brain. I'm still like seventeen, eight, like my eighteen year old self in my brain. Better you know, yeah. like I haven't like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. Like you don't, yeah. you don't grow, like internally. It's just everything that you. I don't know. Age is like a physical. Shit, I feel, I feel grown. I don't know. I feel grown like a grown man. Like I feel like thirty two year. I feel like my sense of humor might be in the a little bit. That was very true. <laughs> I mean, but that's like a pretty big deal. Like your sense of humor is everything. Because you don't got a sense of humor, then like, what do you got? You just like stay. I feel like you're supposed to have that in you, though. If you don't, Everybody I feel like you, you dry. A lot of adults don't have that. They, you dry then. Like I meet a lot of people like my age, and I'm like, damn, like am I fucking growing slower than you? Or like they dry. They lost their kid in them. They dry. Their character. They're not creative no more, man. I know over. I'm a character. No, but they're they're everybody has a char- has character, like character to their personality. It's their character whether they have, you know, I feel like a sense of humor if they think that what happened in their life, you know. If you had a bland ass life, you don't get certain things. You know what I'm saying? You don't think certain. You know things. what it is too. A lot of humor comes from pain, and that's a big deal. Uh, I seen that on the video. I was like, damn, that's sad. Why does a lot of yeah. humor come from pain? That's crazy. Well, I feel like that's why I'm funny. Like I'm that's how you shit. So it's like I'm just very like. I, I don't like, like my, that though. I feel like my life's just a dark comedy. I feel like life is a dark comedy. I thought about the other day. I was like, my life is just like one big dark ass comedy. Just keep going. Yeah. Most most stand up comedians went through had fucking crazy evil lives you know what i'm saying like i mean look at robin williams oh my god robin, robin williams, williams was our childhood yeah. he passed you said what happened he what you said what what robin was robin williams he passed i mean you know he killed himself but i still don't know why he did that what what what, what made him he was do depressed. that was he allegedly had cancer there's a bunch of reasons why he killed himself like, what he didn't want to go through it that was so long ago bro that was like 2014 yeah, and that shit's crazy. Yeah, it, 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 I remember when they, I remember when that shit uh, hit the news. I was like, "What the fuck? Robin Williams committed suicide." Yeah, I mean, a lot of like, can meet Chris Farley. He overdosed. Yeah, Anthony definitely Bourdain, overdosed. huh? Anthony Bourdain. I mean, his bitch was cheating on him. That's why he committed suicide. Anthony Bourdain. Yeah, you didn't know that? No, I didn't. He was dating Asia Argentino. She's like the uh, she was like the leader of the Me Too movement. Oh God! And, uh, I'd kill myself too. In the midst of it, like uh, he was, uh, he was like in Europe or something like that. But I know she was in Italy or something like with some young dude, and it was a bunch of pictures of her like uh, kissing the guy and holding the guy's hand. And who, I think, who is this? Uh, Anthony Bourdain's girlfriend. Who's that? The guy from the, the Anthony Bourdain, the the Discovery white, Show. White dude. He'd be like traveling, eating the food and stuff like that. Tall white guy. You've seen him before for sure. Oh, gray, gray hair. Yeah. Gray hair. 
killed he, he killed himself. Yeah. yeah, maybe like what five years ago, something like that. I thought yeah. he, I thought he just died. I killed himself. A lot of a I lot of he killed his comedians. girlfriend. He was embarrassed. That was like his baby. You know. Damn. Was embarrassed. A lot of comedians killed themselves. <laughs> He wasn't a comedian. He was a chef. No, he was a stand-up comedian, bro. Oh, was he? Yeah, that's yeah. that's the only reason why I know. Crazy. Well, the comedians killed themselves. Talking about a lot. Uh, shit. I sure hope. Yeah, a lot I don't know. We ain't named nobody else. You gotta think like when you gotta make everybody laugh. It's probably so depressing. Yep. You always gotta keep a smile. You can never be sad. Damn. All I was thinking about the other day. I was like, why? Why when I don't want to joke and stuff? Like, something wrong with you? Like, I don't know. I'm just. Do joking. you have this problem that everybody like always thinks you're happy? My fans always say that. Like, they you know, know. My fans always like, you're never happy. You're never sad. Like, motherfucker, I don't post when I'm sad. I'm not finna post like, yeah, like, I do get on, sad. On, on the gram, like, man, I'm having a bad day. Talk to me. You feel? I'm not I finna do that. that. That's one of the biggest I misconceptions I, I feel like people get. Because you, you got to think about it. Everybody else has the same moments you're going through. They sad too. Nobody want to see sad shit all day, sad every day. And they already going through sad shit. Like, I don't want to see you depressed, complaining about shit in your life. So I don't think you'd want to see me. Exactly. My thing, the biggest misconception a person can get by me, like this is for fans, everybody. I'm not a nice guy. I'm, I'm not, not nice. I'm, I'm a cool guy. Cool is different than nice. I'm not a nice guy. I'm not really even a nice person. I'm just a cool person. So like people be thinking. I'm about, approachable. I definitely get mad and I definitely get angry. I got a big attitude problem. I'm a Leo, man. I have a temper. I got a big temper. Come with the territory. But it's like I don't post that shit. Like when I'm on Instagram posting, I'm not posting for fucking people to see me. Have an attitude and like that, but it's like or that I'm fucking sad as fuck. Yeah, like, like if I'm sad as fuck, I'm not. Posting. I just want you, you know to see the happy saying? moments. I want you to see the bad moments. Yeah, like, like I just don't post when I'm not happy. That's like saying like. But like, some people use that as an outlet. Some people don't know how to not post. You know what I'm saying? Like when they're sad and shit like that. Like I feel like the you most, might just be addicted to the internet though. Yeah, the most I'll do is like a meme. I'll do like a meme. How I feel like if I'm pissed, I'll do like a Tony Soprano meme. <laughs> If I'm pissed, I'm yeah, I do memes. I me, do. that's it. I'm putting me. I'm not. Yeah. Putting, I'm pissed off. It's you're like not, you're like not gonna an evil mean or something. You feel me? You're not gonna explain how you got fired from a job on your resume. You know what I'm saying? You'll know I'm mad. By that is that a reach? Nah, you'll know. No, you'll know I'm mad just by my memes I post. Like, you always post on this panel though. Yeah. So it's like, like every other. Yeah, if I'm happy, sad. I can never tell what you are. It's just a Tony Soprano with a coffee. Tony Soprano with the paper. Yeah, if I'm having coffee, I'll post that. That's it's like cool. the new subtweet. Is it? Yeah. It's funny. Like, if I date a girl, they, like, hate when I post Tony Soprano. Me. Like, in a fight, I'll post, like, a mean Tony Soprano. You said fuck me. Like, I didn't even say shit. What the fuck do you mean? Like, I just posted Tony I Soprano. I just don't understand you, your, your, your love for Tony Soprano. I love Soprano. Once, oh, no. When you watch it, you're, you're going to fall in love. And he's a Leo, too. That's maybe why I love it. Yeah. Yeah. That made him open his head a little bit when you heard that. It didn't. No, you're going to love it. It didn't. It you're going to love it. You're going to, you you will get, to, if you when you watch it, I'm not going to say if you watch it, because one day you will watch I, it. I won't. You will. Everybody, is, everybody, especially as we get older, it's one of those shows. It's like for the older man. It's for like the thirty to forty-five year old man, fifty-year-old man. You'll watch it, and when you watch it, you'll be obsessed. You want me to watch it and be obsessed? Because you like it. Too. Now that I say the Leo, I saw that little twinkle in your eye. You're like, oh, I just, you know, <laughs> it just, you know, I didn't know he was a Leo. I didn't know he was a Leo too, and then I looked at his ID. It's a lot of cool Leo characters. You know, Harry Potter's a Leo. What? Yes, nigga. The Sorcerer's Stone. Yes, nigga. He's a Leo. It's a lot of Leo, man. Yeah, hey, we got the we got the hardest people in the world. Harry Potter is hard. Yeah. Like when Harry Potter, that's just, just at the top of the list already. Oh, that's already top. Who gonna top that? Kanye. Kanye is not Leo. Top. No, he's a Gemini. Yeah, he definitely moves like a Gemini. You Gemini? Kodak. You Gemini? Yep. Uh, we, we got Young Thug, uh, Chief Keef, us, Soldier, Biggie, Soldier. Think about all the Leos are fucking crazy. Biggie. I think Madonna Leo. Madonna is a Leo. You Taurus or Gemini? Go to type in Leo Leo rap. I'm about to type. I think Madonna, Leo. I want to see famous Leo. Everybody a Leo. I want to see famous Leo. Let's get Leo out there. Jennifer Lopez, Kylie Jenner, Madonna, Barack. Barack? Who that? Obama. (laughs) Barack. That's his cousin. (laughs) We got uh, Meghan Markle, Chris Hemsworth, Jennifer Lopez. Meghan Markle, Leo? Turn up. Jennifer Lawrence, Daniel Radcliffe. So damn, he a Leo and fucking. Uh, he really a Leo. He really a Leo. Nigga, Demi Lovato, Mick Jagger. If you think about that Leo, Lawrence Fishburne, damn. If you think about Leos, they're all that like, Lawrence Fishburne. Mm-hmm. He the Leo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lisa Kudrow. Okay, Vivica. 
It makes sense, huh? Like when you see like the people that yeah, are, like, like, you gotta be Leo. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like all the cool motherfuckers, Jason Momoa. That makes sense. You gotta be a Leo. Give, him, give, give me a million dollars, I'm gonna be a Jason Momoa ass nigga Martha, riding motorcycle. He's a Leo. Martha kicking it with Snoop. Come on, Tony Bennett. It makes sense. Like Tom Come Brady. Ah, we got Brady. Stop playing. Yeah, don't that list is crazy. Bro. It really makes sense. Everybody on this list. It's cool. Even fun. like the girls on it, they're like the cool girls. We got Megan Good. They play like the cool roles. Antonio Banderas, that's my nigga. Hey, that list is crazy. Chris Hansworth, we got Thor, Viola Davis, not Mila Mila Kunis. Kunis. Come on, Holly Berry, Holly Berry. I know that list is ridiculous. Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence, it makes Jennifer Lawrence is still sick. bad. Everybody on that list does ben, cool. Affleck. ben Affleck, Steve Carell, Angela Bassett. Come on, bro. McDonald's. It's all power. Robert, Robert, Robert De Niro, you ain't got show me no more. You ain't got show me no more. We got Rob. Rob you ain't got show me no more. Rob, John, John Stamos. Stamos. Everybody Christ. cool. Am I wrong? Everybody on the list extra cool. Extra cool. There's nobody on the list that's Dope not as cool. Dope as fuck. Great careers. Like, there, you can't hate on nobody on that list. Go back to that list one time. Just go. <laughs> We're just going to see if you can hate on it. You can't hate on her. She's making a banger. Keep going. Oh, that was it. Damn. We, everybody. That list was crazy. Can I you hate on Thor? No. no. Can you hate on Jennifer Lawrence? No. Demi Lovato. Sean Stamos, Matt, nobody hates on Robert De Niro. Nobody hates on Madonna. Angela Bassett. I knew Madonna was a These are loved people. These are loved people. And even if they had controversy, they got iconic roles that they've been forgiven because they got iconic roles. Because they, their roles are too crazy. Like Holly Berry's still doing MMA movies at 50 some years old. Is she? You didn't see that movie? Uh, damn, it was called uh, like something on Netflix. She plays like an uh, MMA fighter coming back into the game. No, nah, I got to see that. It's hard, bro. Is it? Yes. Bro. With Holly? Yes. Nobody ain't never said shit to me about it. It came on. It's called Bruised. Bruised. On Netflix. She plays like a... She like, oh, it came out a couple months ago, huh? No, it came out like earlier this year. I could have sworn I seen it year. on there. Sandra Bullock's a Leo. Oh, that makes sense. I love her. Mick Jagger. He's still thugging out. Come on. Man. That's Miss Congeniality. Kate Beckinsale. Hey, shut the fuck up. She's bad. Hey, why was I on her uh, Wikipedia today just randomly? That's random. Because I saw the uh, Underworld uh, movies, mm -hmm. and I was like, damn. Like, you just saw them? No, nah, but I just... I think I like five of them. They're fucking all great. But I'm like, damn, like she really. I don't know why I loved Underworld so bad. So Underworld started 2003, and then her last one was 2017. So I'm like, damn, she made like. Damn, I didn't even know they made one that late. I gotta see that. That's what I. That's what I. That's why I was looking it up. I was like, damn, she's still making them. They just made like two new ones. Damn, I gotta see. Was it good? I just saw the pre. I was watching the previews of all of them. I look, you want to watch them again? Like, fuck. I used to love Underworld. I thought she was so bad too. She's 50 now. I mean, it makes sense. She's probably early 20s, but when the first one dropped, look 50. She don't. Tell me that she looks 50. I was like, what the? She always been sexy in Underworld. That's probably why I like the movie so much. Uh, she looks 50? Let me see. Hell no. <laughs> no. Late 30s, early 40s, maybe. Didn't she marry Pete Davidson? No, nah, she dated. Are they dated? How is Pete Davidson getting bad bitches like Kate Beckinsale Bro. and fucking Kim Carter? He going to have to hold this for real. You know what it is? We're just not in those places. He makes Give him laugh. The... He's kicking it somewhere. No, He's no, got no. a sense of humor. He's. I got a sense of humor. Yeah, but, but you're not in them rooms with them that's people. That's what though. it is. Like, what the fuck? Like, how did he go from Saturday Night Live in the room to in the room? Oh, he's he, funny he, as fuck. He got Kim Kardashian from her being on Saturday Night Live. Nigga snuck in the room, so I smoke. Damn, how you get Kate Bacon? So he got some bad bitch. Ariana Grande. Yeah, his list is Damn. crazy. Is hey, crazy. see, that's like your demographic, low key. Hey, low key. He just <laughs> tall as fuck. <laughs> AC back up with the jokes, nigga. He just tall as fuck. You got kind of like that little white guy sense of humor. You might be <laughs> <laughs> Better start swaying them hoes, but them drifting lurches around. Bad Man. bitches like nerdy looking niggas. He's not, say, nerdy. He nerdy looking? He's not even nerdy. He's definitely Pete Davidson nerdy. is he's definitely like a niggas. drug addict. Like he, maybe he, the white he like, guys, he like, he's like a nerd to me. Maybe the white guys, he looks cool. Like Pete Davidson is the look to fucking ethnic people. Because I didn't even know bro was a, com a comedian. To, eth to ethnic people, we're all nerdy. Us white yeah, people are all exactly. nerdy. So, so it doesn't Pete really. Davidson. What's his name? Skeet Davidson. Well. <laughs> Skeet. Remember, I, was, I had like a little campaign of because uh, Kanye. Yeah, he took his, he, like, he took his bitch. I just feel like Pete Davis is nerdy. I'm he sorry. is. I'm not hating because he's pulling the bad bitches. I respect that part of that. I respect. He could be nerdy. Who gives a I fuck? tried to watch your movie, The uh, King of Staten Island. Hated that shit it. Sucked. Watched the first ten minutes. I said, "What the trash. fuck?" Okay, so we both tried to watch. Nigga, it. I said, shit. "What?" We tried to give you a chance. So I'm not just hating because I'm. And hating. I was mad. It was rated so high. I said, "What the fuck? Why is this rated so high?" But you got to think about it. What has he done since then? Yeah, I think that was supposed to be the movie. To probably take him out to the next level, and he didn't do nothing. So like now he has not done shit. No, you know how much he got bashed in, because of the Kim stuff. Good. He got he went to like rehab or something. He for got that? bashed because the Kim I shit. Feel like he got the bashed because the he Ariana to, shit. He went the, to rehab for for the Kim. The rehab situation. shit is just they wanted us to feel sorry for him. That's why they said that shit. No, so? bro, he's a yeah. depressed. He's a depressed. You know, mentally him? ill. 
Well, I know like his, hey, see, his, his person father noticed, died. Dude. His father died. No, in 9/11. I'm just saying. His, yeah. his father did. Yeah, in nine eleven. He's a firefighter. He's a firefighter. Oh shit. He died like on the day. That's crazy. Shit. That, that's like the big. That's like the big part of his comedy. What he jokes about. Another thing we say where it comes about pain. You know what I'm saying? Comedy hey, you joking pain. about that? I mean, he jokes about it all the time. That's the thing. That's how I know about it. That nigga was probably young as shit, too. Wasn't that the Because we was young as fuck. Yes, I'm saying, because we was young as shit. How old is he? He's like, what, 28, 29? Wasn't that the whole point of the movie that he made? Was about I wouldn't know. I seen 10 minutes of it. Yeah, I didn't watch it. I wouldn't know. I seen 10 minutes of the movie, bro. I couldn't even tell you. I turned that shit off. It was like kind of weak. But yeah, yeah, he pulled bitches. 29. 29? Damn. Two years old, younger than me. Jesus. Two years younger than me, so... He was probably shit. He couldn't even know his dad, if that's the case. He was shit. I was in. I was in third grade. When he was like 10. Fourth or third grade. It was one of the I was in fourth. fourth. I was in fourth. I was in fifth. Nah, hell no. Nah, you I wasn't? was 100% no, you in fourth. Nah. nah yes, hell no. Nah. Oh, no, I was in sixth grade. You were in sixth grade? Yep. I was in sixth grade. It was, it was yep. the beginning of the year, bro. Yep. I remember because Miss Burr. Miss Burr put it on the class and everybody, they were mad. I was at Grace Oakley. I, I remember. I was like in fourth or fifth grade. You're a year younger than me. So what? Well, you were in fifth grade. Yeah, I was in fourth because I know exactly where I went and who I talked to first when it happened. Yeah, I was in sixth grade. I remember. And she put it on the classroom nah, in English. I, I might have been in fourth because I, I was a year behind. Because what? Because I, I graduated when I was 17. So you were like an old fourth grader? Yeah. I know I was a young fourth grader because so, I graduated when I was 17. So I was like always like a year. Because my birthday is the summer. But you went to continuation school, so you got all the credits quick. I went to continuation school in high school. I know. We're talking about fourth grade, like elementary. Y'all was for sure in sixth grade. I remember Miss Burr, her English class. She put it on like, look at this. My dad, six o'clock in the morning, fucking cussing his lungs out. At yeah, the I was in class training. watching it. Like, my, what the fuck? My my dad's cousin was uh, at the trade center. Right, or, this was crazy. That, that shit was wild. crazy. I remember that shit. I That's all they put on to to school. at school. And they, I think we went home early. Yeah, everybody did. Remember, they, everybody was afraid there was going to be planes. Yeah, I think, we, I, think I went home shit. like at 10 o'clock or something, like 9 o'clock. My mom came and got me. I remember. Terrorism is fucking scary. What? Hell yeah. You remember when like the country was just like. Everybody was scared of everything. Oh my God. Anthrax, all that shit. And remember? Think about it like, yeah, do you remember? I mean, everybody was different. scared to check the mail. Think about it. Right now, we have to take our now shoes off. Now we're scared off. to go to the store. Think about it. We have to take Part our shoes theaters, off right anywhere. now when we go to the airport because of the, the shoe bomber. Remember the shoe bomber? No. Nah. The dude that hit the... That's why we take our shoes off at the airport. Because the dude that hit the bomb in his shoe. Same reason why you can't bring more than three ounces of liquid. You remember the, the airport used to bottle? be crazy back in the day. We, I was talking about it like in the movies. You can't do like in the movies. You can't run. Remember that they used to have like your girlfriend leaving on the plane. You need to run to the yeah. plane. You can't do that shit no more. You got to fucking, your bitch gone. Once you get past TSA, it's over. That's over with. You ain't, you ain't running nowhere over there, folks. You run anywhere. You got to tap you. You got to pass you down and shit first. <laughs> then you going over there. You ain't got no ticket. You ain't getting over here. You fine? Think about <laughs> it. Remember back in the day, you can meet your people at the gate. Yeah, you go in there and all that. Now, they like it's like a whole nah, situation. Folks, it's a whole to mile to walk. You got to get through TSA to do all that. You got to have a ticket to do that. They're like, oh, no, you can't come over here. Stand over there. And your ID. If you yeah, don't have your ID. There, yeah. We give a fuck about uh, Lil yeah, Louis. Back in the day, you know, remember, like I said, when our parents used to drop us off the airport, like, you know, you used to park, take the people all the way in, wait for them to fight to come, you know, wait for them to get on the plane, and then you leave the airport. And now, it's like, you, you, I see you. you drop people off at the curb. Like but this. I lost I lost my, my ID in Europe and then had to fly home without an ID. How? Yo, they, you, they take you in the back and they ask you a whole bunch of questions. They ask me what my neighbor's son's name is. How the fuck would they know that? Because they have that, I don't know how they know that. What the fuck? They, they, they I don't know phone, that nigga. They get it on a cell phone. Hey, that's the problem. I, been like, I don't know we that nigga. We can't go though. nowhere. You can't go I don't out know America. that nigga. Everybody can come in America easy. We can't go no other country. Why though? Because I don't know why the fuck that is, low key. Because you can't even go to Canada if you got like certain shit on your if record. You think about how America is. I guess we are like a crazy ass country. School shootings. <laughs> yeah, we do be having crazy shit going on out here. Like we're the only. I feel like we're the only country in the world that has. Gun laws that we're, we're, we have rights to bear arms. It's kind of good. That's why, well, we made Should that. We so need them. We made that so the government can yeah. never take over the country. Yep. That's what they did when, before the country was made. Yep. The, the British, you know what I'm saying? So like, we need them blurs. We need to poop, poop, pop, pop, pop. It's a, it's, it's a double edged sword. I feel like that's just part of the human experience is dealing with, uh, what do you like, 
chaos and pandemonium. And that's why you have stress. That's fucking life. Yeah, like, that's just life. Like, it's always going to be that. Shit ain't sweet. I just sit down the way here. Shit ain't sweet, man. It's life. Yeah, life is crazy. It's life is crazy every fucking day. Like, yeah, all around the world. Nobody just has a, just a regular, normal day every day. And it's day. crazy because, like, once you get through the trauma and once you get through the things, you know, you just keep going. That's another thing. Humans adapt. Whatever situation, like, because all the things we're talking about, we've all adapted to it. And we kept day. going. We keep going. You got to think Corona or whatever, like what, three years ago now? Yep, it is. We started this podcast. Pandemic. Coming back. Hey, chill out, gang. Don't we do started that. the podcast. Yeah. You seen that? They talking about they shutting down the government October 1st? Or did they you, might? Did you see that's that? That's why we getting back. That's why we're getting demonetized. You got the false information going. <laughs> that's what I said. Chill of, out, gang. No, nothing that I, I've said on this podcast <laughs> is false information regarding government. The feds finna sweep you. Anyway. The feds is finna sweep you. They finna come take the MacBook. They about to shut the government down and pay for Ukraine uh, salaries. You crazy? Is that what's going on? Is that yes, what's going bro. on? Fifty nine thousand or fifty six thousand Ukrainian salaries they're gonna pay for, and they're shutting our government down because they don't agree. Why are we funding so much shit and we broke as hell? Because we're because big they're, they're that's what they call us. We're big brother. So after World War Two, you know United Nations. Mm-hmm. United Nations got started after World War Two, and. When we started the United Nations, the American, we spearheaded it because, you know, we felt like we did the most to win the war. So part of the United Nations agreement was that America, if any time any country, some shit happens where they feel like they have, like, a dictator or some type of crazy shit, America is obligated to go to that country to, like, that's why that's why people hate America interferes in all their wars and shit like that. But it's like it was part of the World War Two treaty. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have to go to every country. We got to rewrite this. Like, world. we can never have another Hitler or none of that. So, like, that's why. You have to think it's been 100 years since Hitler. World War Two, damn near. So, it's like, we don't never want another that. So, that's why we go. What that shit got to do with us? Because because of international, like, trade. Well, because we don't want anybody world? bigger. Think about it. If a superpower gets bigger than America, and America is a free country where, the, the, where it's a democratic country where we... The people vote on the laws and everything. Imagine if you got like a dictator who who's just as big as America. It's crazy. It would like be like like Hitler all over again. You know what I'm saying? Taking only, over a whole country, killing people and shit. It so that's why we got to keep it level. That's why it's our job as American, as America, to, equal. to make sure everybody's like <sighs> that shit. Fucking this. It's kind of fucked up because it's like damn. Like we then it makes us a superpower that's keeping everybody in check. But then it's like it's kind of needed because it's like but at least we're Democrats <laughs> until we don't become Democrats anymore. Democratic country. Yeah, meanwhile, behind behind our backs, like... We funny America, all this shit and gas is $30,000 like $30, a gallon. But that's the price of freedom. That's what they say, the price of freedom. That is not the price of freedom. <laughs> we the are not free. Of, like, people don't understand. Nigga, we are not free. To be a free country, you it gotta costs. take out... Yeah, you gotta it take costs. out a lot of everybody you else. Free like, will. You have free will. But so I'm saying, like, to want. be a free country... Hey, bro, get Pete Davis off the, off the uh, monitor. Oh, my bad. <laughs> that nigga looks nasty like a fucking ugly duck. <laughs> no, but to, to be a free country, you have to... Uh, gotta. Like, it ain't free to be a free country. Like, you got to have the military, got to be crazy. And that's why every other country is allowed, that's why everybody else is allowed to move here. This is the land of the free. Then why are we giving all these billions of dollars to a company that's not part of the UN? What are you talking about, the, U- the Ukraine? Yeah. Well, it's not part of the U- That's what they're fighting for, so they can be their own, away from Sovereign Russia. Sovereign country. Yeah, they want to be their own country, away from Russia. They want to be. They aren't, right? They're not. Where did they come from? They are from Russia, but that doesn't... So Jamaica was from France, wasn't it? Or France was from Jamaica. You, like, not, you, you can fight for... Revolutions happen all the time. That's the whole thing. Like, Jamaica got from France. Uh, what else? Uh, France from England. Uh, us from England. It's just... we're going. Yeah. They're going through a revolution right now. They might make it. They might not. They might get fucking murked. I mean, hopefully they make it, though. I mean, that'd be cool if they can have their own country. Yeah, we done dropped all the goddamn money over there. That's just part it. of the... That's part of, like... That's life, too. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's going to... Nobody wants to be under control yeah. forever. Except for the people, you know. I don't even think the Ukraine people want to be a part of Russia. They don't like Russia. No, like, there's only that's what the war is over. Like, they feel that's like, why they sliding. Yeah, they feel like it's a, they want to, to be an independent country. They don't want to be under Russia. Because you got to think, Putin, if we were, they were going to war with the whole world right now, you know, Putin, they got to go. <laughs> Putin. Just certain, I feel like it's like certain. <laughs> sound funny. Certain morals, so I feel like that they, that's what it comes down to. Like, they don't want to be ruled under Vladimir Putin, whatever, because he's fucking crazy. You pronounce like people. They, they, broke off, they broke off in the Cold War, I think, and like yeah. they, they, it's in order to become a country, you have to sign a treaty with your bordering countries mm-hmm. and delegate exactly where the borderline is. Well, Russia would never do that after <laughs> Ukraine tried to break off from them. You know, 
and and then everybody wanted Ukraine to join the UN for whatever reason, whatever everybody's got stakes in you. Uh, well, because it's like for. right there on Russian land, like. But there's a there's a port there too, like in the Black Sea and stuff that is like val is is high value for Russia, and they want to make it part of the UN. And Putin's like. Bro, you you, I'm not having UN up against like next door neighbors. Like, yeah, that's that's, the, that's where it goes to. Like, yeah, if Ukraine becomes part of the UN, that means America, all these countries and stuff. We got to put our troops there, you and we got people foot clo- like a yeah. foot right up next. It's to like the, the video game. What's that game, Civilization, where you just plant your little people there, right? Putin, on the like road. fuck that. Yeah, Risk. You niggas not finna slide over here with that bullshit. That's what it is for real, which is crazy. I wonder how Trump would uh, deal with it. This wouldn't have happened. None of it would have happened. Yeah, because they would have talked it out. No. Putin, I feel Trump like Trump said, Trump, said Trump literally told Putin, he goes, if you if you step foot in Ukraine while I'm president, I will level your country. I saw Joe Biden like, in there. No he Joe. Like, you said, That's exactly what happened. I wonder what would crap. He said, I wonder if... Uh, he didn't say Joe Biden. It's, Trump said it, so we sliding. <laughs> I wonder what happened if uh, we went to war with uh, Russia. World War Three. Yeah, because that's bombs. Dude. They say the next war would be like a nuclear war. Russia. I'm not China, feeling that. Let Argentina, that let that Brazil. let that slide out when I'm not on Earth no more. When I'm dead. Iraq, Afghanistan. You yeah, have a war when I'm dead. We've lived through how many wars already? What we've had the Gulf War, the War on Terrorism. Yeah, the War on ter- Terrorism was fucking 13 years. That shit was forever. That was a takeover. That was a 13 year war. More than that. 2001, war 2002. Bro. 2002. Well, it to just like, ended like 2000. It just ended what? Like Trump's last year of president. He yeah. was getting yeah, them out. They they just left Afghanistan and left all that all that uh, military equipment there. Joe I Biden forgot. did. Everybody leaves. You always leave military equipment. After Not the war. 80 billion dollars worth. Yes, you do. That's always. <laughs> I learned that from that movie, uh, Lord of War, with uh, Nicholas Cage. Remember when he sold the guns? Damn, 80 billion dollars. Think about it. When you, Yo, that's why gun smuggling is what you do. When military dudes, when the military leaves all the weapons and stuff like that, they hire private contractors, just how they did with the cocaine, with the, uh, like, snowfall. You hire gun dealers to fucking sell the guns to other countries and stuff like that. That's some crazy because shit. Because think about it, America needs that money back. They say so the money that they get from the guns, they bring, put back in the country. Sounds corrupt. They just buy more. Yeah. That shit sounds crazy. Sounds hell. like some... That's the hunter. real deal. Yeah, y'all ain't seen Lord of War? Oh, no. I, I have, but I don't, think I, I don't think I saw that. Every time, yeah, he talks about it. Like, every time there's a big war... America leaves all the uh, guns. They buy warehouses wherever they have the base, and they leave all the guns in warehouses, and they get they have, like, different dudes to sell them. Okay, so remember the, uh, the – okay, what's the basketball player girl that got locked up? Brittany – Griner. Yeah, so Brittany Griner. So we traded her. Remember we traded her for the Russian guy? Yeah. That's him. That's the dude that Lord of War is based off of, the death dealer, Yuri something like that. I forgot his name. So he's the guy. He – his big thing is that he sells guns. The reason why he hasn't been able to get caught for all these years, allegedly, or he was caught, but the reason why he was, got away for so long because he was working with for the American government. He was selling the guns and, uh, you know, making the profit back. So how the fuck he go down then if he's doing it for them? They probably, because there's you have to think there's different branches of the American government. So just just how, okay, remember Rick on Ross. Snowfall. Rick Ross. Huh? Rick Ross, yeah. same, same thing yeah. happened. Well, Rick you Ross. can work for the CIA, but just because you work, if you work for the CIA selling drugs, that don't mean the DEA ain't going to be on your ass for selling drugs. You know what I'm saying? That's like, bullshit, there's though. different, there's different law, like the law divisions go against each other too in America because like the law is supposed to reign over everything. So if you're part of this division doing something illegal, one of your ass. Like, yeah, like the ATF, arm, what is that? The ATF the is I, uh, the, the weapon. Internal. No, it's like arms, something. Tobacco and firearms. Arms, arms, tobacco arms and firearms. Tobacco, yeah, arms, tobacco, firearms. Yeah, so that's uh, not arms. I know. Some alcohol, yeah, tobacco, like, alcohol, tobacco, tobacco firearms. firearms. So like ATF, DEA, you know, they all go after each other too. FBI, because they all corrupted doing some yeah, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. So they like all they, back each yeah, other. Yeah, they're all trying to prove yeah. each other. That but they, but those those things that you were talking about, those branches are are who held all the people in power accountable. And yeah, now they don't do that anymore. Well, allegedly, because everything gets sent to light at the end of the day. There's always going to be somebody that I feel like is going to uphold the law. That's just what, what it is. You know what I'm saying? That one's got not. Yeah. We got to stick to the rules. Yeah, everybody's not going to be corrupt. That's just what it is. Be, yeah, why, that's I just feel like that's, is. Why, that's why it's come to public opinion now. Like, that's why they put out the rumors and the stuff like that. Because, For sure. Because nobody's really, I mean, yeah, Trump. Well, you have to have, like, well, because we're a democratic society, yeah, like, me, the, we're ran by the media. The media runs the society. So, like, once you have, like, you get to that point where it's, like, you know something corrupts. Like, remember when Franklin's dad was going to go to the media? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, once you get to the point where the media gets out and the people are talking, you got to do something about it because that's just how America works. You know what I'm saying? Like, because we it's free media. 
other play, other media is controlled, like China. You go to like uh, Japan and shit. Like they all got they. It's not private owned media places out here. We it's private owned media. You know what I'm saying? So you can't just tweet what you want out there. No, they don't even have Twitter in China. For real? No Twitter. In Japan, I don't think they had China. They don't have Twitter or nothing like that out there. Or I TikTok? China, no. They got. I don't know if they got. Oh, TikTok they got either. TikTok. It's just different. They said. Yeah, they, they don't they see what we see. They control it. Yeah, yeah they, they don't see what we see. Yeah, free speech is crazy until you go to other countries. Like you realize, like free speech and all that shit. Like, look, you need it, huh? Yeah, I mean, because if not, then it's like the government just controls everything. But our government is literally built off of we can't never, we can never have uh, somebody. That's why you have the president, and then you got like what the House representatives and the uh, Senate and everything. One and person can just have all the power. Yeah. Because that's why King George, when we they took over the country, he had all the power. So when you know they wanted to make George Washington king, and he wouldn't, yeah, he wouldn't do it. That's why we started. That's some of the reason why we started like our democratic system. They wanted to make him the king after he won the war. They wanted to make him the king of America. He wasn't feeling that. Nah, because he's like, we just had a king. Like we just beat a king. Why would I make another king? Let's do something to where like we all equal. So I ain't trying to get killed because I'm the king. We gotta do something different. Yeah, like the king is. Too y'all, y'all track him after me. I ain't. I'm, I'm not with think, that. Yeah, it's, it's not wasn't fair. Trying to rule over people. Yeah, if you think about like the president system, it's like one of the best systems ever because you know it's the people voting every four years. Like yeah, it might be a little corrupt, but you know what I'm saying. But it's, <laughs> the, day. it's the people. Everything I mean, corrupt. He yeah. said yeah, it might be a little corrupt. It's, it's a little amazing. bit. Yeah. I mean, and you think about it. The reason why they don't have. Why every time we vote, it's it's uh, hidden hidden ballots or too many counts or they had too many. Because Why is it always like that? Nobody's holding them accountable. When you're that at the shit top happens of the, every when you're at the time. Top, nobody's when, holding you accountable. What it is too, and this is why Trump. Oh, this missing a hundred thousand ballots. Like what the fuck? What made me realize shit for real is when Trump won because I knew I knew what I knew Trump was gonna win. And you know why I knew Trump was gonna win? He had the most bands. America is ran by money. And my whole thing is like this. There's always more people running for president than we know of. But they ain't got enough money to be on the TV screen or They shit. got the promotion money. Yeah, they you got gotta the... have... Like, everything is money now. Like, now I'm getting older, I'm just like, everything is money. So You it's gotta like, have the bread. Yeah, like Hillary Clinton, the reason why we saw Hillary and Joe and all that. the money. They had the money behind them. Oh, even they, Obama, like, he had the money behind them. They put their stuff on TV. You That's why you do the campaign so you can raise money, try to get people... Like, think about it. If I was, like, a, a multimillionaire and I saw you running for president... Are you running for president? And I feel like you about to do it. Like, hell yeah, I'm going to give 100000 to your campaign. So if you become president, I got favors now. Like, I can call you. I mean, it's called lobbying. Yeah. It's called lobbying. Is and that, that why the people, one, is the that why people why donate? Yeah. Hey, the reason why they fucking smart, huh? hate. It's low-key smart Low-key smart, huh? The reason why they hate Trump is because Trump was a billionaire coming into his campaign and told everybody, I used to be a lobby. I used to be a lobbyist uh, for decades uh, as Trump, as he was a billionaire. And he's like, I'm not taking any lobbies and I'm funding my entire campaign by myself. <laughs> so all the corporations that basically run the country were didn't have a hand in his pocket. Yeah, like Fox News. They and couldn't that's why you Fox News anything. and all that shit. Fake Fuck news. Fox, fake news. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny though, because it's like he really had his own bag that he could like do. Well, then I got my own money. It's going up. Got his, and then you think you think about the like TV connections that Trump had. Like he was always on TV. 24 7 when he wanted to. He was always on TV. Always Tonight, on Trump news. at 7. Tonight, Trump at 11. Tonight, Trump at Think here. about it. He was like on TMZ. You're fired. He was on, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was on like the popping shit TMZ, Twitter. You Whenever he wanted to. Whenever he wanted. Trump, because I knew he was going to win because he was famous. I was like, he's just the most famous. It's not like, America and doesn't he, care about your credentials. Or how like, Arnold Schwarzenegger like, Arnold, Arnold oh became the governor God. of California. Yeah. <laughs> That's like Joe Biden. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck about what Joe Biden did. I don't even know what Joe Biden did. I don't either. President. We don't know. I, I don't we know. know what Arnold Schwarzenegger the did. Crime For sure. Fucking the Terminator. He's a Terminator. The Terminator. Of course he can be the governor. Why not? Because I know him. <laughs> like, uh, who are we talking about with president right now? Uh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Yeah, fuck Joe Biden. Now, Trump. That was hot, Trump being the president. Bro. Oh, with the apprentice Trump was president? hilarious, <laughs> though. Ronald Trump. Reagan was an actor. P- you, p- yeah, people don't know. Ronald Reagan was an actor. He ran for president from Hollywood. Do you remember is that the, how he got... Is that how he got he, yes, he he, he that's crazy. Actor. Bro, he was an actor. I don't know he was an actor. Yes, Do you remember the debates? Do you remember Trump's debates? Oh, on TV? So, in 2016? So on TV? So good. When he would talk, called Ted Ted yes. uh, Cruz's wife, uh, uh, she looks like a dog. He's got a dog wife. Bro, he was going crazy. Grandpa. He had to, he had to like, the like the most entertaining. You know how to entertain. Yeah, like, he's the most entertaining president for sure. You know how to entertain. Just and then, trolling. like, what I liked about Trump is that, like, when he got into that damn office. He you was, love Trump. He wasn't a pussy. You go to North Korea. North Korea started talking shit like they about to bomb us. He was about shit. to send them troops. 
What the fuck? He said, nah, fuck this said, image. I'm pulling up, nigga. Say it to my no, face. No, he said it on Twitter. He said, hey, uh, a somebody tell fire. him, somebody tell Kim Jong-un be, that, <laughs> that he needs my to stop. My nudes are bigger than yeah. his. And my, I have a that's big red button, niggas, too, and it works. That's yeah. why I told Trump about, uh, niggas about Trump. I said, I low-key fuck with Trump because nobody was fucking with us when no. Trump was in office. You the, couldn't fuck with the us. The best one was, you tell fucking uh, Kim Jong-un. He's the, oh, he's the first yeah. president that hadn't started a war in God knows how long. Yeah, you tell, you tell, you tell Kim Jong that... Uh, that we will unleash a furious fire, bro. Like, said, the I gotta, world, like the world has not ever seen. Bro, I said, like, I gotta, oh. bro said I got a big red button too. Said, my, I have a big and, it, and it works. And he it said, works. My, tell him my nukes are bigger than his. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. He's bro, like, bro, like, thing, like, man. Then he put more. Then he put more money to the army than any president. He walked out of the Situation Room at like midnight. Oh my god. He's like, uh, Kareem Abdul Baghdadi, uh. Died like a dog or some shit like that, bro. He, when he did that. For like 40 minutes, went off the top of the head and gave a speech at midnight after they just killed the head of ISIS. Trump is a nutcase. He was crying a lot. <laughs> He's a nut. I wouldn't have cried. You said what? You said what? No, that's what Trump said roll, in the speech. Roll. He's saying that he died like roll. a dog and he was crying. Oh, Scott Alexa, the roller. I get like that. The homies can roll better than you. Like, I roll this for me. I'm trying to hit it more times than usual, you know? <laughs> yeah, I already you know. I already you know how that go. But yeah, no, damn, I forgot he killed the general of ISIS. He was on some shit. How can y'all not like Trump? He's a, and he gave us money. And he gave us money. Everybody. Give everybody Has, money. Did any president ever give money? Oh, fuck no. When? Oh, no. Anytime. No. Just like anytime. That. They no, gave you a 30 piece, 20 piece? That's no. what I kept telling you. I said, no. but Trump gave niggas money, though. A 50 piece? You can't be Come mad on. at that. Bro, I fuck with Trump. Is you, is you mad? He gave niggas money. You can't I be feel mad like at that. Miss like, Trump now. I feel like a lot of niggas miss Trump. What? Absolutely, the PPP bro. niggas miss Trump. Miss the fuck out of Trump. Trump was for the hood. He was for the He state. let felons out. Yeah, he let felons out. He, he let felons out. So many niggas got out during Corona. Nigga, nigga, nigga. get out of here. Go. Yeah, bro, I'm sorry. Like, get out of here. It's people that are going to hate me, but I fuck with Trump, man. I didn't vote it's for politics, him. man. It's People politics. People think I vote for him, and I didn't vote for him. Are you going to? I'll vote for him this time for sure. Only reason I didn't vote for him last time. Who did you vote for then? People want to know so bad. Who I no, because I, I don't remember who, who was going against him. Uh, I, Hillary? I didn't oh, no, him. Joe. Joe Fuck Biden. No. Donald Trump? The Joe first Biden. time? No, Hillary. No, the last Clinton. time. Okay, so the first time I didn't vote for him. That's what I'm saying. So you, the you, sec- you, Because I just didn't vote okay. like that year. That was against Hillary Clinton. The I, second yeah. time you voted Hillary? Fuck no. I voted no. Uh, for the guy Kanye West for running with. I don't even remember his name. Yo. I voted for Kanye West. You a bullshit ass nigga. You went, there, you went in there and did some crazy I shit. I voted for Kanye West. He, wrote, he wrote his name in the You're the type of person that shouldn't be voting. Because if your vote counted, you feel me, that one last I vote. voted for Kanye West. Don't do no worse like because that Because I was anymore. like, I'm not going to vote for Trump just because if Kanye West and Trump is the vote. You know who told me Trump team. was going to win before anybody? What? Morgan. You know, you know, been, I, I got Morgan was like, Trump going to win. I, got I was like, what? Saying Donald Trump was you know how she I do too, though. It's crazy. You know how you know the vote doesn't matter anymore? You don't need an ID to to um, to fill in your ballot. You don't you need mean? to I show did. proof of insurance. You don't need to show. I mean, they uh, made me show I, my ID. Come in to vote. Yeah, no, you tripping? Yeah. No, they didn't. No, bro. The mail in ballot, all that shit, bro. That That's the, the mail in. The mail in. They know who but you. Yeah, they know, know your identity you. though, and everything, How? though, bro. How? Because you sign census, up for it. The census. How? You the sign census. up for it. How can I? I, I could. I could sign up for anybody. The census, bro. bro. They know where you are. All bro, you're crazy. You know yeah, what? you're crazy, the bro. Census knows bro, where, you don't everybody. Need to show your I was like, when I went in, they asked for my ID to make sure I was who I was. I was like, I, they asked for my and ID. They're sending it to your house because the census knows everybody in every city. Like the government knows everybody in the city. Yes, nigga. I can type in your name right now. It's on there. And post you on, on Google, and they'll show like where you're You're not a ghost. You think you're a ghost. I'm not a ghost. No, I'm not a ghost, but I'm saying Nobody's like- Nobody's a ghost. Anybody could have voted. You could have voted twice, bro. How? If you really wanted to. No, you, you can't. can't. Not, I know it sounds crazy, bro. You can't I know vote it twice, crazy. bro. No, you can't. All right, all right. No I'll bet you any vote. amount of money. I'll any amount? Any amount of money. Any amount. Any amount. That that You can vote twice. No, you're not supposed to. So you say you can. You don't need an ID in certain states. I think it's in certain states. I think that's what the thing was that in in certain states you like they weren't the voter ID laws. They were eliminating them before the election. Maybe like in Florida and shit. No, I don't do so what? I don't do the cat. Like Delaware. <laughs> like some small ass shit where they can get away. He with said it. Delaware. <laughs> I want to know when when are election elections ain't this year are they? Damn, it's next month. Ooh, it's finna get busted. You voting? I'm voting for Trump this time. I don't give a fuck. I'll say it. I'm voting for Trump. 
Oh, it's the state elections this November. Next, now, 20, 2024. It's 2024. It's 2023. Yeah, the, 2024 the inauguration will be in January 2024. But I'm saying Trump? they're starting to promo now. They, pro- they, they start been. the campaign. They're getting now. that Gatorade packaging yeah, together. You know, you start that the, Nike deal. They, see, you <laughs> see, they're getting that roll out there. They're getting that roll out now. together. Hey, you just saw the debate that he didn't show up to and did his little Twitter interview with Trump. Tucker. I was just watching yeah. some shit right now. Is he not arrested? Who? He got no. indicted, but he got he got out on bail. No, nigga, hundred thousand dollar bail, nigga. Say what? I got I that in my pocket. That. And he came my in and said, that money. "He pissed that money." He came in and said, "Yeah, he went in real quick, did the little mug." So shot. he could still run, even though he indicted. Uh, I don't know. That yeah. sounds crazy. He's not, a, he's not, he's not a, a felon. Yeah, he didn't get convicted, so he got arrested. So hell when yeah. is trial? Who knows? It's gonna be a long trial. That's a lot of money. They got a lot of money. They're going to go on trial for years. Yeah, so it's like... So that's why he's going to go run for president then. For sure. He's going to be the first president. First, he'll be the first president on trial. Put that nigga on the ankle monitor. <laughs> hey, that <was> crazy <laughs> shit. Put Trump on the ankle monitor, you nigga. Think that shit, that trial is for what? Is it, is it in like Atlanta or like Washington or something like that? It's somewhere in D.C. Hey, see what you Googling. Huh? It's in Georgia. <laughs> it's in Georgia. Bro, I'm trying to prove that point. Hey, see what you googling over but there. I'm saying, he's only he got huge, serious in that a Google. Huge, that's those a huge cri- thing. Bro. Those crimes are in Georgia, though. They're not in like no. It's not like is it federal? What Trump's? Yeah. No. And so yeah, so he's like, he can same, never go to fucking Georgia. The same wants. prosecutor that put uh, YSL away uh, is the one that indicted Trump. Yeah, they, they, said, they double back. They sold on. Let's get oh, the nigga Trump. Uh, Fanny Mae or whatever lady. her name is. Did she be sliding no What's shit? Don't go to Atlanta. Hey, I heard she catching niggas up. Don't go over there. She trying to be the. She trying to take Kamala Harris place. No, no, nah, hell no. Nah. Cause she sliding on shit. You for know that's real. how people become president and shit. Yeah. They do shit like that in their state. She said we taking down all these niggas. We took down why? Cause I'm yeah. a nigga. I know what niggas yeah, do. Young Thug. <laughs> it's been like almost two years. Young Thug. It's going on year two. She said know. I'm a nigga. I know what niggas do. We taking down these niggas. Young Thug with it. Yeah, when I went 2022. on 2022. Yeah, I went on tour last year. Beginning of 2022. Yeah, he's been. He's been down for like two years. Like a year and a half. Yeah, a year and a half. Is Gun still why? Say like what? What? Is he still wise there? Don't they yeah. post his music still? He's still signed to the label. All right. Yeah, he's definitely huh? still signed. I'm not he said he never that. unfollowed him. I thought he said he never unfollowed him. He did that for the public. I never unfollowed him. Yeah, look, at, I follow. Look, I'm look, on that fuck you, you need to read me. Ain't that future still, right? <laughs> I seen them, I'm seeing them sales. Them sales are crazy. Fuck you mean? <laughs> he's like, I need a tour? He's like, I'm seeing them sales. I know tour? I know her tour. Ugly. Gun in the voice? <laughs> <laughs> that tour going to sell the fuck out, though. Say it's not. My whole thing is like, okay, thug, like you're not going to give us no type of like wink wink twice if Gunner's a snitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't think he own that. Can, if Gunner's... Can, but at the same time... I don't it, listen to Gunner still. I'm at the saying. same time, isn't Gunner signed to him still? Yeah. Gunner is signed to YSL. Well, I'm not fucking up my bad. He's not, he not, he not snitching. Signed to 300. If you know, he know. But I'm not finna go put dirt on his name because I'm still getting the bag out here off this. Yeah, that's why he keeps you feel saying me like thug. so. If you know, you know. He said we gonna. Yeah, you feel me? If you know, you know. We gonna viral off that. Yeah, fuck yeah. you mean? I'm, I'm in the cell, slapping this shit right now. Yeah. Fuck you mean? <laughs> what you mean, nigga? The fuck? <laughs> why is hell? Hey, what happens if they they call Gunna to the stand to go repeat what he said to get out? Oh, the they plea? do that. That's that's the whole point of it is that he's gonna have to go to court again. Yeah, during the trial, it's like an in person. Uh, uh, but child. what happens if he if they make him go in? To say it, and he goes to the stand, and he doesn't say it. He getting booked. Is he still snitch? If he doesn't, if he goes to the trial and he doesn't say anything, they gonna book his ass. They're like, nigga, what the? Get your ass back in jail. Yeah, but that probably, but that would probably be less time than whatever he was charged for originally. Is the case? I mean, I heard like like most of the people on the case are like, it's only like three people that need to get convicted. Yeah, everybody is going down. Like already, everybody already took deals. Everybody took deals and shit. It's like every gun. I'm not gonna. It's it's thug and like two other people. They fight murders. That's why it's longer for them. They're fighting the murders. Niggas ain't trying to. Yeah, niggas ain't trying to take no deal on the body. Hold on, what you mean? (laughs) Ten years. That was slime in them. That wasn't me. (laughs) That was other slime. (laughs) (laughs) That wasn't this slime. So what slime was it? It's not a pocket thing. He said, "All I knew, all I know was it was slime. What slime? I don't know. It's Atlanta. It's hella slime. My auntie been sliming. Everybody slime. You feel me? Like I don't know. Your don't want to snitch. He said, "It's a slime. That's all I can give. I got all I can give you. Niggas is slippery. I gotta get back on the streets. <laughs> I gotta get back on the streets. I gotta get back. You know, nigga, I get back on the street. Can't snitch. Can't snitch. Uh, I can't yeah. snitch. <laughs> gotta get back on these streets, hey, man. You know, like, only reason the millie's gonna stay. The millie's coming. Ain't the street like- code crazy." Hey, it's hey. fucking crazy. That's a street code crazy. That's a, a crazy thing to live by, it's a boy. crazy thing to live by. You're in that street code, Stacey? It's fucked Hell up. Hell no. Nah. Exactly. Hey, you know why? Because it got to be here. 
It's in here and it's in here. You Everybody snitching? Got that. Hey, his dad didn't tell him that growing up. Like, don't tell, don't call the cops. How you know that? Him. You know his dad? He ain't got the street code. He just ain't got it. What does that mean? I understand the street yeah. code, but would you call the cops? Would I call Niggas the cops? Is cr- yeah. I mean, it depends. <laughs> no, it depends. <laughs> on the <situation. laughs> it depends on the situation. He's talking about too long. You already called him. You already called him. You call the cops to protect me. No, I would, I the only like, time I would ever call the cops, is if someone, I called the cops one time in my life and they broke my window. I would only call that's the it. cops if like I shot a nigga. In the I have camp, to. I want to go to jail. Yeah, I just got to get the body out of here. So that's the only reason I would call nine one one. Or like if I fucking like if, if like if the homie was dead and I see the dead body, I'm a, you know what I'm saying some shit like that. But I'm not gonna like tell anything about what happened. You know I ain't doing all that. Six hours in a cold room. You see, Quavo hasn't even told about fucking Offset. He saw everything. You me, know me. Huh? You mean take off? I mean take off. Yeah, you see, he didn't say nothing about take off. He saw everything. They had the that cameras. That shit is crazy. They had cameras. But I'm they saying did. he had to keep it quiet. Like some niggas stick to the street code, some niggas don't. Like it's just real. Like, cousin, that's, that's, that's his too, own cousin. That's too crazy. That's his own fucking cousin. And he didn't say nothing. But it's just like. It but was, also, he's a street rapper. And that would, if he told, that would be like. He can't do no street shit. You can't yeah, do no more, more music. Money. Everything's you, done. Your bag, stop. I, I talked about that the other day. That's I think a crazy it's just code. So wild. I, that's why I said that's a crazy <laughs> code. Yeah, like that, like, that's, that's a crazy that's code. A crazy code to live by. Like, even your own blood, you can't even like say nothing. You can see a nigga get popped that's what happened right with in Boston front of Richie. you. Huh? His cousin got shot, and uh, they took him in for another case, another charge, huh? and they brought him to another, another like the the federal. Whatever, and they questioned him about the murder of his cousin. If he, knew oh, he got murdered. Who did it? And he was like, "They were like, don't you have beef with him? Didn't you get?" And he's like, "He knows everybody in his city." He's like, "Yeah, we've had stuff in the past, but like, there's no issue. Like, there was never any issue." That count? Something. I, I thought bump, he, I thought he did. I've been bumping that new Boston Ridge. That shit. Oh my god, man. he's so good. That's, yeah, bro, he's too you know good. No, he's too good. Too That's why I'm like, idiot snitch. <laughs> What's going on? When the music too good, like this nigga might not have told that's though. That's what nigga said. That's what nigga said in the streets. That's the fucked up part. <laughs> I don't think he told though he's for still real. Signed the future, future, signed future. Future, yeah, he's still. Got a bag. He I'm signed the contract man. and then got exposed. Three big game. And then got kicked off the tour. You're like, damn, I gotta fuck with this nigga, man. I should never kick him off the tour. The nigga. new album is under free bands. But you know what he did? He's free band game. Yeah, free band. Yeah, he yes, signed nigga. to free bands. He's signed to future. Future still fucking with him. No, no. He let him. He let him off the tour. Yeah, he didn't go on the tour. Remember, it's supposed to be a big ass tour. Him, Future, somebody else. Future's yeah. doing like four shows at a time. They said yeah. that he left because he was working on the album. Yeah. Hey, that was probably the PR. <laughs> crazy, yeah. Hey, but one thing that you saw, I see the allegations, man. I don't know about this. Hey, on what Pluto, he, what he did though. Too many street niggas on the turn tour. Turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on. He didn't. He didn't change his trajectory based off the <laughs> off the cancellation. He dropped a hot project right after he got canceled, or people stopped fucking with him. And thirty songs on that fucking It was undeniable. That nigga dropped that and said, "Watch this." Thirty songs off the tour. No, the first, the first tape. Yeah, the first. Oh, the first tape is thirty songs. Is it? Yes. I be bumping that shit every day. That shit hot, nigga. Run it. The new one's hard too. That nigga on fat. Yeah, I, I thought the, the first one more. I don't know. The first why. one's too the, hard, the first, bro. Yeah. No, I mean shit. It's just crazy, like that snitch shit. I mean, for me, I just know something, nigga. I, I haven't been put in a few fucking positions, and I always fucking. It's just crazy. I'm just not afraid of now, like going to jail with a bunch of niggas. I know how to conduct myself in the streets. I know how to conduct. I don't want to go to jail. jail. I don't want to go to jail. But I'm saying, I would rather go do jail than be on the streets fearing. It's way scarier fearing for your life on the streets than fearing for your life in jail. Now, then. You yeah. sound crazy. No, no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying, I'm saying that doing your time, not fearing your life. I'd rather do my time as a stand up nigga in jail than have to be on the streets worrying about getting revenge or a nigga coming Here, back home. Here's a question. Now, are you, is it snitching if you. This nigga got way too crazy snitch? with that. Like, what? It's snitching if you expose a snitch. Yeah, I mean, if a nigga got paperwork on him, hell yeah, you can expose that shit. That's not snitching. But is it, is it not? But it. it no, if, you're, if you got saying, paperwork like, and I expose that you're, that's not snitching, is it? If you got paperwork and I expose your paperwork, that's not snitching. That's like, nigga, I'm telling everybody you a snitch. Watch out for this nigga. He's a snitch. Like, don't do no dirt with this nigga. He's a snitch, bro. He, pissed, he got paid. But isn't, isn't, well, I was going to say, isn't isn't the whole premise behind snitching, like, mind your damn business? Like, don't speak on anybody else's business? We got nigga, and I ain't going to speak on I'm it, but we saying. got homies from the hood that snitch that we don't fuck with no more. Am I wrong? Like, we got hella homies from the hood that snitch. Not hella homies, yeah, but you used, used to be like my big homie damn near. Yeah, like, we got a few niggas that we don't fuck with. Like, because but it's they got like, work on us. And it's like, told, and it wasn't like, no, it's not no big talk about it. And the shit got nothing to do with us. Well, it's like public it information. Do with it got nothing to do with us. I think it's, it's I think the idea of being public information, like the paperwork. Sky. Is, isn't paperwork mostly public information? Fuck yeah, it's public information. So yeah. that's why... That's how that's niggas why find out. You told. So like... Any type of crime that gets reported, it gets put in public record. I feel yeah. like somebody's trying to take down 1090 Jake. 
like just take that for any little thing that he had. But what do you do case, though? Snitched. He, like, snitched. No, he wrote a he wrote a paper on a dude he got into. But I seen somebody jail. break it down there was, though. There was a they, multiple. They trying to say it's not snitching though. Yeah, I also heard he was crazy. getting active. And a lot of a lot of jail niggas said it's not snitches. So I don't know. I ain't been in jail, so I wouldn't. But know. But I thought it was like uh, multiple incidents with him that they. No, nah, it was to get only one. On. Like some crazy, like he was getting assaulted by the by the guards or some crazy shit like that. I just heard. I heard yeah. he was getting to an inmate, and then he had to do a report because he fought the inmate. I thought it was. I thought it was a guard. It was That's in like order to fight get out nigga, of solitary confinement. If you see me, Scott, if you see me and him fighting. And they'd be like, well, why was y'all fighting? Like, nigga, we just got a little shit. Like, oh, that's not... Because nigga not trying to get no time, probably. Extra, they like, probably not trying to get no extra time on they, top of it, they, probably. You feel he, me? He was saying... Jake was saying that it was... He already got uh, convicted of doing... Of fighting. Uh-huh. And they got sent to solitary confinement. And in order to get out of solitary confinement... He had to write, write that up. paperwork. Yeah. And, and he just... Nigga, he, to get out of solitary, All he nigga. did was write... Write in yeah, words what they already convicted him of. Exactly. They that's just needed his own what paper for y'all snitching. to say that, nigga. Yeah. I don't feel like that's snitching. No. I'm just telling they you. Already, what they already knew what we did. They so already they, knew we fought. They already knew. Yeah, they already knew we fought. They already knew. You don't know why we gun. fought. The context of why we fought. They that. already knew the gun in the car wasn't gunners. Who knew that? The the prosecutor. I mean, what is the context the, the of gunners snitching? He walked into the jail. No, and he, he said he that filed, he we are accepted a, gang. a plea deal. This is the whole thing. If I'm saying? under a fucking indictment and they think we're a gang, I'm not saying we're a fucking gang. We're not a gang. We're a label. We're I'm a rap label. That, I'm sticking to that fucking story. That's it's where the shit just got crazy. Fuck up because it's always they, that one. They prep you him and basically say you gave him a one up. Like, oh, yeah. Back, but I, right. See, the thing is, I ain't worried about but me being not, a stand up nigga. I'm worried about the one nigga that's going to fold. It's always going to be that one nigga that's going to fold and fuck up everything. With the, that's with, just what it is. With the plea deal with Gunna, it's not him going into court and saying it already. I ain't worried about myself. It's him. I'm worried about the next nigga. He went to court to say it so that he can get out on the plea deal. The whole point of that is, is that he said it in court, so now he has to stand on it. That yeah, when they yeah. call him and back, yeah. they are saying their game. But yeah. when, but when they call him back for Thug's case, he has, to, case, thug he has to go on the stand and and yeah, repeat you already exactly said it in what public he said. Record. You said it in public you said record. record. Yeah. You said it on. You said it um, for sure. under under oath. Which he probably will for sure. But and, what happens if he doesn't? And you know what? That's wrong. Don't he, because don't he, he already, has to? He he tasted the the that the just comes from his Don't want to go. He didn't want to sit in jail, so he got that three months. Sit down five years. That three months for, in jail. For uh, perjury? Look, that three months in jail. Is they trying to charge him with? I mean, if no, he if doesn't he, if do he doesn't it. say the same thing. Look, uh, that th- he didn't want to spend that three months in jail, and he wanted to get out, so he took a plea bargain. And that is snitching, kind of, because it's like, niggas, some niggas that sit down. It's other niggas that sit down. It's kind of snitching because you basically... It's not snitching on somebody until he goes into court. Because you we're a gang, you feel me? Yeah. And we fighting that, that we're not a gang. Yeah, we're yeah, trying to say we're not a gang. It's not and you're the biggest artist on the label. Until he goes to court and says it. He, his but Alfred plea. Yeah, said but it, to though. get out of court, but to get out of jail, he had to he had to do a plea deal to they're get gonna, out of jail. They're gonna do the he let the record. You already let said the, it though. Let the record let the record show that this when he says it in court, whatever that is, an in person um, identification or, or whatever. Yeah, you gave a statement, nigga. Like you gave like nigga. Say that we didn't see that shit on TV, nigga. If fucking we saw the paperwork and saw what the fuck he said to the fucking he judge, did, he, niggas say he snitched. It's the All same shit. We just yes, happened ma'am. to see the shit. Yeah. He didn't say it's statement, like when a nigga snitch. We don't see it. All we you see the paperwork. Was, Why sell you see the statement I'm on the paperwork? Sorry, we need oh, he to. said this and this and this in this situation <gasps> to the police. Wow. Look, what he say? He said like it's a gang and we. Need I don't to know. Stop. That's he why said I some shit like we need to stop the gang violence. He said some shit like. Did he say that? Get in trouble? Like yeah, that's some crazy. That's another thing too. It goes to this. My nigga, don't do no shit if you fucking gonna be afraid to go to fucking jail for this Especially shit. Especially rapping about shit, That's the first thing you should too, think about you before you do like, a fucking crime. Like, do I really want to go to jail for this shit? Am I, like, is this shit is worth it really going worth to this shit? Like, <laughs> but, I mean, it As probably, a nigga that's done crimes before, as niggas that have done crimes. It's a lot I, of shit I sat down and been like, you know God. what? It's a lot of shit I sat down before. It's not the one. This ain't it. He, hey. And I done a it's lot It's been something like, mm, mm, yeah. this, be, this might be the one we go down tonight. We can't do this one. You have to say no. The smart niggas say no. Like, you got to think about it. It's thirsty niggas that's going to still do it. The but niggas that's doing that's the Wild Wild West shit. Slammer, knock on wood, because yeah. I just know, like, it's ain't right. The niggas that's doing that Wild Wild West shit, those are the niggas that either end up dead or in jail. Way quicker than the niggas that say no. Because sometimes every lick ain't worth it. Fuck you know what no. I'm saying? So it's like, it's just. Well, when you got nothing to lose. It, I got. They hey. got hella to lose. They got platinum plaques, you millions of me? dollars, they got hella mansions, cars, to the bitches. Table. But this was all don't all, forget the bitches. This, all this stuff happened all the way back to 2013. Yeah, since the YSL came out. Nigga like me would have been like, to be honest, I didn't even know them niggas back then. It's so funny. So just throw me out that shit, like bro. I said, like, I didn't my, know them niggas then. My homie was, was already questioned about. My homie was telling, like I said, my homie in Atlanta was telling me that YSL was dropping bodies. They like that YSL. Hey, 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 whoa. I'm just saying. Hey, whoa. Allegedly. What in the fuck? Allegedly. 
Allegedly. What in the fuck? <laughs> hey, they gonna give me like, <laughs> get the fuck out. Hey, they gonna give me like PV. Hey, hey remember what when, in hey, the remember fuck? when they tried to get PV like that? Nah, bro, that was crazy right <laughs> now. Don't do that every kid. Bro, to... They're on a federal fucking case. Like it's no secret anymore. Like, no, bro. but that part you just you just dropped that somebody yeah. was telling you that now, he was doing that. Snitching? That's yeah. in the street. The street that is snitching. The streets was talking. That is snitching right there, buddy. That is snitching right now, like. It's actual, it's accidental, but you did it for real. You feel me? Like, it's yeah. funny. That's what happened with Peasy with the on little, the Instagram comments. You know, like, uh, yeah, my yeah, cousin. I, yeah, them niggas. I, I seen them niggas do it. They was with, like, bro, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the moment. Like, don't do that though. You feel me? That was crazy. You cut that out. Don't cut that out. We're not cutting bro, that out. Bro, they're on a federal indictment. What about Trap Lord Ross? Get him. Cut him out. Who? That's how I know everything. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> <laughs> you hear the journalist? This nigga work. Baker snitching on everybody. <laughs> I know. Get him out of here. He in front of the street, so he don't count. Yeah, you can't you know tell the journalist. They never Let, did nothing for real. Go to Mexico and talk about the cartel on the fucking. Yo ass out of here. I bet you they fucking. You're out of here. Like niggas see that. Why you thing? thinking they know it ain't nothing on them? They you get no scoped on camera. Yeah, they know it, that's not going on. You're crazy. Instagram. You see Peso Puma? He fucking canceled the whole damn Mexico show. We're not playing them games. We're not playing that shit. We're not playing them games. I mean, I feel like I, that journalist shit, it kind of gets like, the streets is crazy. Because, I mean, it's then street they, niggas reporting on the streets now. Didn't they kidnap a journalist back in the day cut his head off? Bro, they do it all the time. Remember, like, in uh, the ISIS, like, bro, they do that the all the time. They did that, yeah, they did that in Iraq, they did that in Mexico. Iraq. A lot of Nigga, they showed me that in uh, in school. Somebody hey, showed me on You know why? Ebum's world. It goes back to what I was saying. On free Ebum's press. world, bro. Free press. Only in America, press is free. Every other country, you don't got the right to just to report on anything you want. Because other organizations are bigger than the Remember Ebum's it World? Who? Ebum's World? No, what's that? E-bombs. Or Rotten? Ebum's World? No. Um, remember the Oh, AZN? like where they cut off the heads? Ooh. Yeah, that shit's that shit crazy. Why do we that's watch that That's when the shit? internet was raw. It was raw. You could post whatever you want back you then. You probably still go on that stuff. No, you can't. That's, that's gone. like been gone. Organization and all that? That shit like been gone. That shit been gone. Nah. That shit was crazy. There's, there's other websites. You gotta like that, you could, But I'm not looking into it. That shit was like a nigga put it in my lap Dudes cutting it's off their like, dick and shit. Remember two, two, yeah, like I seen two guys with hammer or bro, whatever it is. Don't remind me about them shit, bro. I, I feel like Twitter. You can see like that, that shit on Twitter now. No, it's nothing crazy. Yeah, hey, that that's bro. the I problem. I think people get their head chopped that's off on the Twitter and shit. Free- no, but see, free I used to on, 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 even where I'm going to look for it now. Twitter, I'm oh no, I'm not. Do you think I'm that? How do you think that life would be if we never saw like? Because they were. I was uh watching that Quentin Tarantino movie. Which one? The What's Part Time in Hollywood? And it was a part at the part where they were about to go into to kill uh. Whatever the actress lady, and they were like, well, "Aren't the actors the reason? Like, well, we have ne- we would have never seen death and murder unless we, in t- if we didn't see it on TV." No, I seen nigga killed to the party before. But I'm saying a lot. Of, I mean, a lot of the shit that you seen, like, would you have seen people die as crazy though? If you you wouldn't be TV? as like as, as you wouldn't know. Maybe death is way crazier on TV than in real life. They make it way sure. dramatic though. That's why it's way more dramatic. It's way quicker in real life. They make slow that shit down, play that crazy music. Like this nigga finna get smoked. No. Like the idea, yeah, it get crazy. Shot. You feel me? Like it get crazy. It make all cinematic. Yeah, like Ricky damn, shot with, hey, young, hey. You know what I'm saying? Like, with the with the music in the background. It's crazy, but yeah, See, definitely life ain't, 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 ain't crazy. Like you just you just going real fast. I it ain't cinematic. You just out I, of here. I saw some. You I saw plug. a motorcycle. Yeah. A guy you can't redeploy. Died, like, but and that true. That was that fucked no, me that's, up. That's bro, scary bro. for real. Bro, I've seen nigga get shot me before. Up. I seen a couple niggas. I seen popped to the party, laid the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's when that's when partying was too crazy. You could really get party and get shot. The Still? party was stupid Still cracking though. Parties were dumb crazy. No, now I'm talking about this is when every party got shot up. This the jerk area. I feel like now it's like more party. This the jerk area. This when the pills and the gun, You know what I'm saying? Most parties invest in security. Um, I feel like they do now because it's way bigger and it's all flyer parties on the internet. Instagram, Anyone pull up? You don't know who yeah, gonna pull up. You feel me? Back then it was a text to a certain group. Maybe randoms will come, but you're going to be on me like, who the fuck is them niggas? Yeah. I don't know them niggas. Or for real. You feel me? Out. But now it's like the whole party random. Printed out flyers. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's you might have 60 niggas and you don't even know in that motherfucker now. That's different. All right, let's knock, let's knock out some of these topics. We, we got them. This, we turned this to a conspiracy ass, fucking we political ass. I saw people say we need to go longer than an hour. Yeah, I saw people well, guess what? He was not. one one person. It was, it was four two. comments. It was like two. It was like four comments. Okay, see? <laughs> So not- yeah, hey, it was like hey, one, motherfuckers. They don't see the analytics, okay? Ain't nobody it- watching an hour and 45 minute episode. That's the analytics, man. I feel like percentage people of are. percentage The percentage of people? Anyways. 
I feel like people just keep this shit on. Until it's on. Like when I have the podcast on, I just keep this shit Maybe on. Maybe they listen. And then more. I'll be uh, I'll be like, damn, my episode. Are they listening more? We're watching three episodes, four episodes. Maybe they listening more. With podcasts, you just put it on the background. Not, not. Podcast is like you want, it's kind of like your wrong. homie. Yeah, like you just have it on. Like yeah, I watch when I'm in the crib, blow. I just yeah. put it on and, and drop. And I don't even be noticing I'm having this shit on. I'll be on my phone having the podcast on. I'll be like, I forgot I said that. And I think, <laughs> oh, I think the content, <laughs> the content that we posting that's right, right now, like the the episodes, they're not necessarily for the people watching it right now. They're y'all for gotta the, realize for the backlog look, let later. Me tell y'all, like in the this future. is what I realized too with this podcast shit. Me studying <laughs> me this, studying this me. podcast shit myself. First of all, we're we are only being promoted on our platform. We have no big major platform fucking promoting this. Even if you want to say a guest like retweeting us and shit, that's cool. But we haven't even had like no fucking like President fucking Trump. We haven't had no significant interview yet. We've had great interviews. Don't get we me had wrong. The, the famous appreci- homies. We don't have yeah, guests. I appreciate the fucking interviews sure. that come here for sure. But it's keep like, coming. If you think about podcast though, like you know, you gotta have <coughs> an influential interview that make people niggas be come having back Trump slide in, yeah, all like, type of crazy you know shit. I mean? Like, like you gotta, whoa, you gotta it's, like we have to up Tiger Woods. Yeah, like, we gotta up the guests. Like it's independent entertainment. Like, I'm saying like, though, but we have to. Don't you know Leonardo? Yeah, it's my cousin. You call that nigga? We have to, <laughs> am I wrong though? Am I wrong? We have to up. Like, if we want to see higher analytics, we have to up the guests. Yeah, that, for sure. And that just comes from brainstorming. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do your famous work. Aren't you famous? I'm only so famous. I didn't Wolf Phoenix flexing. Like, goddamn, how big you want me to be? A little bigger, just a little. I'm trying, man. Yeah, just a little, bro. I'm not. I'm, I'm not asking much. As much as I can get. I'm not asking much. Try to get suicide boys on here. Just a little much. Suicide boys turn this up. Yo, for sure. They'll turn us up for sure. Bigger than bones. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put that in the air right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna put that in the air right now, man. Shout out to Bones. Bones want to come on. He said he gotta get in the gym a little more. He'll want to be on camera. He, yeah, he don't want to. He don't get on next to his linebacker. Shit. Who can we get on here? Who like should we get on here? There, I feel like we need somebody a couple different. People. Like who? Who do you think? You know, a little pocket. Get John Jones on this motherfucker. Hit him up. Damn, I want to. That'd be on. crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That'd be hot. You know what's so crazy? So like me going to New Mexico. I realize, like John Jones is really like a. Was he there? I didn't get to meet him. Damn, you just paid for the camp and see, bro. Uh, I'll be hot as fuck. They let me train for free. Meet and greet, not, like, nothing, not a picture. Bro, then pop on and share some snacks right, so or something. Pass know. out water. Right, so you guys want to know? Like, I guess it's a podcast. I can talk about it. Are you gonna touch the rundown? You've been studying, haven't you? <laughs> John Jones is like a fucking a hermit. He's like an urban legend out there. What you mean? Everybody knows John Jones. He's never even been to the gym. No, is he from New Mexico? <laughs> First of all, he's banned from the gym. What? He's banned from the gym. He trained at joking. Jackson, but I think he trained at the... They have the new building, like the super big building where I trained at, and they have the old building. And I think he trains there with his team. He has his own team. He's bad. He's beefing with the coach right now. And you went out there anyway? I didn't know he was fucking bad. I like thought he was a ninja I saw the video of him getting banned like three years ago. I didn't know he was still bad. Hey, like, <laughs> hey John Jones be fighting in the woods? John By Jones himself? is. Have you guys heard any John Jones stories? Secretive. I heard he's crazy. You never heard about like the getting tested for cocaine? Oh, yeah, for sure. Steroids. Everybody heard about that. Running into the pregnant lady. What? Yeah. Uh, That's the last time he got caught up. He ran into a pregnant lady. Into it. And got out. Like, got on. You know, he oh, got he a truck. run. He hit her? Yeah, in the car. He had a domestic dispute with his wife in Vegas. That's got all powder. Camera hitting the That's fucking all head. powder. But what it That's is. That's what powder. snap real quick on the coat. <laughs> what I realized. Once that drip hit. You feel me, bitch? I mean, I love John Jones. John Jones is my favorite powder, fighter reaction. ever. Right I love it. It's rock star shit. But that's what kind of made me realize that, like, I'm crazy. Like, I'm a character. Because I'm hearing all these crazy stories about John Jones, how he's, like, this wild guy. Like, he's, I'm hearing it from everybody in New Mexico. I run into random people. They see me. I'm a fighter. I'm, like, I'm training. And they just like, oh, John Jones? And everybody had the John Jones story. That's crazy. Me. It sounds like an urban legend. Bro, it's like a, it was like hangover. It was like, damn, I got to meet this guy. And, and, like, everybody's telling me how crazy it is. And then meanwhile, I'm like, he sounds like my type of guy. Like, he sounds like a, I want to party with this guy. Like, he, meanwhile, he, nigga banned from his own gym hey. and shit. And like he's banned because he's too, he's a wild guy. Like, but it's like when you're the best fighter in the world, you have to be like that. Like, had to be a nut. Like, why? Like, why would I be? Con- well, you know what it is. It's a stigma. See, martial arts. See, boxing. I guess it's not really that many party years in boxing because when you're a party guy in boxing, they look at you bad. Yeah, you can't it's what really... it is. You can't be a sport athlete and be like a party guy. No, you gotta be lucky. That's what I'm, it is. Huh? Like yeah, you Mike gotta Tyson. be like more private. Yeah, like Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was hated. He was doing coke. He was drinking. Because he was going party. crazy living. But he you can't really, good. when you're an athlete, you gotta be so private. You can't do nothing. And that's what it is. Like, you know, I'm hearing these not stories anymore. about how John Jones is a turn up anymore. party guy. And I'm like, damn, like, that's lit, nigga. Like, I'm turning up my That's what I do too. myself. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, shit, I like turning up too. Where you at? Where the fuck is John at? Bring the powder out. Yeah, where you at? Go powder. Pause. Oh my God. But oh no, you said it. You said it. But uh, <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, no. 
I was like, so you know, I want to meet John Jones, but yeah, I, I just trained there. You know, I, I found out that he was a uh, band, like maybe like the third or fourth day I was there. And I was like, God yeah. damn it, I'm going home. No, I'm like, <laughs> hey, going well, I mean, like, I don't. Y'all finna refund I don't that? Train with John Jones. Not train with John Jones's coaches and the people that make yeah, a lot what, of what the thing. Yeah, a lot of people that work at the gym still work with John Jones. He's just not there anymore. You know what, what do you do publicly? Uh, well. I, I feel like, you know, the coach was just basically on some shit. Like, you know, you're representing, you, when you're in the gym, you represent the gym. And, like, you, you're doing all this crazy shit. It's not a good representation of the gym. And especially when you're, like, the greatest fighter in the world and you have all these people that look up to you. Like, there were so many black fighters at the gym. So many black fighters. And I know most of them are there because of John Jones. Just how I was there. You know what I'm saying? And you don't see a lot of black dudes in MMA. But John Jones is the best fighter in the world, so I'm sure he inspired so many black kids, and not even black kids, white kids, Mexican, everybody. But it's just everybody that was there for John Jones for sure, because it's the best gym in the world. You know what I'm saying? So they eat, they banned him, and they're still eating off his name. Man, <laughs> no, I don't industry. Know. <laughs> no, it's just that like, well, he why is he the best? Because he trained with the best. Like his coaches are the best. Yeah. Shout so how was, how was that? It was good. It was like, dope. Well, I saw that on Instagram. You was you was training with. The one yeah, I trained with I trained with all of his coaches actually. I trained with his coach and his teammate. It was crazy. You said fucking y'all was going for a seven hour straight or something like that. Oh man, I went nine hours the last day, nine hours of the gym. Cause like I was gonna take the last day off, so I was like I'm just gonna hit the pads. And so like I hit the bags, hit the bats, and then uh, one of the teachers came in. He's like, you come to my class? So I was like, fuck it, I'll go. Cause you know, the, they were, there it was like all fighters. It was like, I was like probably the only, it was like a few fat dudes, but not even really that many fat dudes here. Like everybody was in shape. Everybody was a fighter. Like it was probably maybe three, four fat dudes, like bigger heavyweights, you know, but the heavyweights were like, you know, big motherfuckers. Like they wasn't like, everybody was in shape. So it was like, it makes you want to like go, go crazy. Bro, I was doing two sessions a day, but the last day I was like, I'm just going to go for one session. I hit the bag. Then the guy came, he's like, oh, you want me, you're coming to my class? I was like, fuck it, I'll do your class. Do, do his class. Then while I'm doing his class, John Jones' his striking coach comes in, and I hit him the day before trying to work with him. He's like, I got free, I'm free up. Me and him work for like two hours. I work with the other guy for two hours. I hit the bag for an hour. Then while I'm working with John Jones' striking coach, my homeboy Kuma comes in, and I end up working with his ass for fucking, you know what I'm saying, like another two hours and shit. So I was like, damn, I didn't leave the gym. And I was crapping up everything. Like, it got to the point. The third <laughs> day. Man, the ain't, third ain't day drink I was water in four up. days. <gasps> Nigga, need them electrolytes. Need no, I'm talking about I was on potassium, electrolytes, salt water. Like, I had to drink so much because I was cramping up after the third day. I was going so hard. But it was like I didn't want to quit. You know what I'm saying? But it, it was dope. It was cool. Hell no, I'm cool. I'll pay for this shit. I'm I'm until I die. Yeah, I'm definitely ready to fight. The progression, though, the progression of your, of your, your um, punches and your kicks, bro, it's pretty wild. They from from the beginning and like and just seeing those ones from from New Mexico, it looks like you know Mike Tyson when you see him throw punch, yeah. it, it looks like it hurts. Like you see, like I see the progression in your in your. Yeah, they definitely taught you me how like throwing that shit. Nah, first he wasn't throwing that shit. They taught me how to like do power in my punches, power in my kicks. Taught me how to kick right because I wasn't kicking right. They taught me all that shit. Yeah, they taught me how to really get like crazy with it, like. It's and you doing you your doing form. Left leg they got too? your form right. Yeah, you see the, the left, left leg. You've been seeing the left leg. Huh? Yeah. You've been seeing that. Huh? Yeah. I've been posting that, nigga. You've been seeing that shit. I've been they posting that. Yeah, you've been seeing that. that. Like that. I've been doing that, nigga. Yeah. You get it high as hell, huh? You like yeah. that? Power. But even the punch, even the punches. <laughs> Even the punches, you've been doing, you boxed when you were younger, like you've, yeah. you've been throwing punches, but you haven't been throwing punches like you were they throwing. They taught me a whole video. new style how to throw punches there. And it's like, I was sparring the other day when I went to the gym and I like used a new style of punches and it was so fucking crazy. I'm like, the new style is so crazy. It like, comes it comes from your feet? No, 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 no. Like, it's just, uh, I don't even want to give it away. Cause oh, it's true, like, if true. I give it away, uh, Sky, he going to be looking. <laughs> I spar Sky all the time, so I can't really show <laughs> I got to show him. Just it's the sauce? It's hard, though. He's going to try to take it. Niggas gonna take it if I show them, cause it's too good. Y'all be taking that. Y'all, it's Look sauce. That you supposed you to spread the sauce. You gotta feel it first. Yeah. See, I gotta hit you first. Yeah. I'm, gonna show you it's like I'm gonna get game. one off on you. First. It's like in a video game. You gotta fight the nigga, then you take it after you. You gotta earn it. <laughs> I'm gonna give it like to Pokemon. You. But uh, yeah, it was cool though. But yeah, I didn't get to meet John Jones. I wanted to meet John Jones, but I feel like I. One thing about the gym, I feel like I have a good relationship with the gym now. And they honestly, they didn't charge me to train there. They let me train off the of love. All I did was, you know, I paid the personal trainers and shit, but they just let me train there. So it was cool. Just because that I, I told you I went there on some rapper shit. I told them I was a rapper. And then they didn't think I was going to come back. They didn't think I was serious. Nobody thought I was serious. Hey, that nigga really pulled up? All yeah, right. They, they, they was like, pull up. Gave me the schedule, and I just started training. But nobody thought I was serious. Like, even, like, the fighters I met the first time, they were like, I didn't think you was coming back. Because they had been watching me on Instagram, so they see my lifestyle, per se, so they didn't think I was going to come back. 
But yeah, this nigga ain't coming back. This nigga rapping and doing all that type yeah, of other yeah, shit. Yeah, I didn't think I was coming back. I actually ended up meeting my homeboy Davion. He's got a fight next month. I want to go to it. Where? In uh, San, Diego. San Diego. He fights for Bellator. What is he? Is he a heavy, super heavyweight or heavyweight? He's a heavyweight. He's big as hell. 265. That might be dumb. I'm trying to slide. How tall is he? Yeah, come on. Uh, he's like 6'3". Six, six, he's like 6'3". Six, he was 6'1". Six and one. Yeah, I'm trying and to slide. And the, the only fight he lost was like on some like... He, first of all, he destroyed the dude's face. He only lost on some like they were both tired as shit and he got hit in a submission. But he never got knocked out. He's knocking niggas out of life. Yeah, I see that. Six it's crazy. Man. He's going crazy. He put niggas to bed. Yeah. I checked his Instagram. He's shit. He, yeah, no, he's cool. He's cool. Yeah. And he does music. Good rapper and shit like that. We actually made a couple songs. Y'all seen him in the studio? I was like, this nigga's in the studio with a, with, on some UFC shit? I was telling niggas. I was like, nigga, I'm in your zone. Nigga, you helping me? I'll help you. Nigga, come on. Let's make a track. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, in, I feel your, like. I'm in your zone. I feel like I'm a rapper in the, in the box. Let's do a yeah, track. Come they on. Said Wiz was there. Like, Wiz was there. You know, what for real. Yeah, he trained there. He trained for like a day though. And then like Denzel, he went there, but he didn't train though. See, like they really, I, mean, I really was in the trenches. I'm really like training two a day, going crazy, sparring. I sparred every day I was there. Some days I got my ass beat. Most days I sparred every day. He said every he said day. Most days. I'm just saying. I'm just every day I got my ass crazy. beat. Nah, it was some niggas like destroying me. Like some nigga, like one dude, his name Houdini. Shout out to Houdini. <laughs> He like beat my ass so bad, it made me really reevaluate life. Like, <laughs> Cause I was like, damn, I was like, I really gotta train. I was like, this nigga is you can't get in there with niggas and serving, like, bro. Shit. When I'm talking about, it was like a couple dudes, like it was a couple, like one dude I couldn't even touch, and it was funny because I saw him sparring like hard, and then like you know you gotta switch partners, and like we look, you know, you give each other the eye, you know how it is, like when you like. And you know, some niggas is so cold where you know you just stay away from them. Like, I know even know you. You know how that is, you know? And uh, when I saw this dude, I knew he was a pro. Super dumb in shape. And, like, him and the other dude were going so hard, and they're joking. Like, And so when I, like, picked him as my partner, they was like, you ain't going to be able to touch him. And I'm like, man, I'll be able to touch his ass. You know what I'm saying? You know me just being cocky. Oh, my God. He made it. Like, He's a nigga. He made sure that I didn't touch him, kicking me all in my face. Like, kicked me in my head at least three times. Damn. Like, boop, boop, boop. I'm talking about like a boom, and then like a boom, boom. Like, he was going crazy. Like, I could even touch rush him. hour kick. I barely y'all touched him one time. Like, I almost touched him. <laughs> I almost touched him. Yeah. Which one of y'all kicking me? It just. <laughs> but the, yeah, you with one of them? Yeah, no. I think he was in there like, what the fuck? That's how it was, oh bro. God. It was like on some, like, some dudes was so good. I'm like, damn, this is real killers here. Like, these niggas can really kill me if they wanted to. <laughs> like, even like Davey on my homeboy. Only reason not me and him got cool because he walked in the gym, this nigga big as hell. And like nobody knew me. He didn't know if I was a fighter or a rapper. So I saw him. I was like, I was like, what's up? They said I'm supposed to spar you. Let's go. And he looked at me like, like, nigga, what the fuck? Everybody else, you know, I always be doing that to niggas playing with Like, niggas. nigga, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, when you do that to niggas at a fighter gym, they looking at you like, like, you sure you want to? Like, I'll I'm about to beat your ass. Yeah, that's what they always on. Like, until they found out the rapper, they was like, bro, I thought you really were trying to fight me at first when you were saying that. I was like, like nah, I was joking nah, with nah, you. I was joking, bro. I'm making nice. They was like, I mean, I thought you really were. But we could fight, there. though. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? But was one dude I knew he was pissed off. Like, I just kept fucking with him. I was like, bro, when you ready, bro, I'm, I'll beat your ass. He was like, no, I'm going to beat your ass, bro. Like, come on. Like, I do that shit. He was crazy. It's like this nigga was just whooping ass. Yeah, the I wouldn't have been talking to him. I just liked it. It was just that real, oh, man, testosterone fucking. I don't know. I know I can do a fight now, though. I think I might take a fight next month. Don't quote me. You keep saying this, bro. Just don't don't even say nothing. Just when you're, ready, you, when you're ready, you're ready. You gonna you feel me? You gonna get in there? I feel like I'm ready. Just you know what I'm saying. Just let it come. You feel me? He said, just let it come. I don't want to, I don't want you to keep booking the fights and not fighting. You feel me? Fight. I did it one time. I didn't book the fight. Yeah, don't be doing some. You know what I'm saying? Just booking fights and not fighting. That's some weird real, shit. You feel real. me? Like, nah, for real. That's real. That's what I'm saying. The, the only, only reason about I did that the first time because my coach. But now I feel like if I can go to the best gym in the world and they tell me to fight, I need to fight. And I feel like I got. And train and get it cracking. I'm trying to go and see that motherfucker in there. I know. We're putting on blunt talk. You better not get knocked out. I ain't getting knocked out. I'm just saying. We put it on blunt talk. <laughs> the clips is going on blunt talk. We go put the motherfuckers in there. So you know what I'm saying? You better get, get your shit off. You better. Hey, what I know? <laughs> your gym journey. I'm seeing your, your viral pictures. You got the viral picture going up. Go crazy. How you feeling? Yeah, I feel amazing. You see me right now. Mm-hmm. Y'all was heavy. You see me in that picture? My eyes was black as shit. Bro, when I saw the picture of Phoenix in us, I was like, damn. I lost so much weight from that picture. I didn't even see that picture. I gotta see that, I gotta see that picture. Oh, my God. For real? It's like a different man. How long has it been? Six months? Since March. Six Ooh. months? That's crazy, that bro. Melting. March. That's melting. That's insane. It's just melting. 
Yeah, crazy. But I go to the gym like every day, like five times a week. Yeah, I see you going like that. And I and I and I, I just do two a day just the other day. I'm gonna start doing two days. We try to do two days. Ever since we had the competition, ever since we started the competition, so we, we got trying to up it up. I mean, it's it, it's in me. I'm not I'm not playing. I told you I'm not playing with this. It's, it's serious. I think you playing with it. I think you thought it was a game. You for saw real. the results. I think, I think you think it was a game. I think you think it's a game. No, you think it's a game. I, mean, I ain't even seen you it's on the watch. I've been playing. The watch has been going on. I can't on. wear the watch to boxing. You better find a way. Put on your I leg. Not. I can't. Maybe I might put it on my arm. I can't wear. Tell him you can't wear the Apple Watch with boxing gloves. I ain't never seen this guy with Apple Watch. Okay, but you can't wear it. Because <laughs> you it in our I ain't never seen it. But with I Apple am gonna start with my weightlifting. I'll start doing it. I do it when I do. If you look on Monday and Tuesdays, that's why my watch is on because I do strength and conditioning on Mondays and Tuesdays. That's why you, you ain't see been on that me. bike either. I do be on my bike. I have yet, and that's I'll do it on my bike too. I just Jim, haven't been, been on my taking bike. Taking notes. Think about it. I just notes. got back from New looking. Mexico. I'm watching. Hey, I how, just got back from New Mexico. How am I supposed to have it? How'd you change your? Uh, what'd you change in your diet? I don't eat nothing. No bullshit. I don't drink no soda. No juice. Bread. No bread, no, no bread. rice. Fucking, I do ground turkey and chicken. I don't eat beef, pork. That's my uncle. It's like uncle rare. Did. I will eat it like on a salad, but like I'm not just gonna eat bacon and shit. You feel me? It's yeah. like bacon pieces. Yeah. Cut off, cut off carbs and all that soda. shit's done. That shit's done with. I might fuck around every now and then on the weekend. You feel me? Have some fucked up, but that's not my everyday thing no more. You feel me? Yeah. Talking to Mike. And I and I got, oh, when I was talking to Mike and I got the meal prep. I just cooked before I left. Yeah, the meal preps help a lot. So I don't go buy no bullshit because it's easy to buy fast food like a double cheeseburger and it's cheap as hell. How I try to just do it, I just try to think of food as fuel. So like when I'm really in my mode, you know, like this whole top trip, I didn't eat shit. Yeah, I didn't eat till before I, I left the crib. Protein. It was like one barbecue space by my Airbnb and I just went there and got brisket and sausage every day. And it's low key hard to just hella put all that protein in all day because yeah. nigga, I don't want to keep eating hella meat and hella meat all day. Yeah, I want to uptake, I need to uptake my protein. What about keto? Keto. That yeah, that's hard. cool. That's cool. But it's like it's just hard sometimes. They say if you get on it, like as soon as you do eat a piece of bread, you blow up. So it's like because your body just, just like, so used to not eating it, you feel me? I like, feel like you just gotta like it's just it's really too. Just, it's like your mind. You gotta be really yeah. strict. You feel it's me? Like, like, like well, I like rice and I like bread. So every now and then I will fuck around, but it's not every day. Like when I went with my grandparents, taking my grandma out right now, and we went to Outback Steakhouse, and I could have got some. Cra- I wanted to get the pasta with the steak and the shrimp in Ooh. it. And it looks so fire, but instead I got just a chicken and a sirloin. That's what I'll be on and there. I'm like, not finna get the crazy meal I would've got. Yeah. I'm finna get some, you know what I'm saying, a little cool shit. And my grandma got dessert. She was like, you wanna get dessert? Like, I'm like, nah. And I wanted it so bad. But I do want that double chocolate cake with the frosting. Oh I do God, want it for sure. It so I didn't have it every time, but I'm not gonna get it this so time though. <laughs> you know I be having new cravings, nigga. I be in the liquor store buying blunts like, I'm about to buy these M&Ms. Yeah. I'll be like, nah, I ain't gonna buy these. Like yeah, I try to stay away from the, the. And then when you leave and you didn't eat the M and M's, and you feel you feel good, and that that high that you get from that carries you on to the next. And a nigga time. told me in the gym the other day, he was like, "How you do? How you eat?" I was like, "I don't eat nothing." He was like, "How?" I was like, "I just fucking." Do you be watching reels like is gym your, reels? Is your shit like full of gym reels? Nope. Really? You don't have gym reels on my TikTok? On your Instagram? Nope. You don't have like the little motivational shit. What's your Instagram? My Instagram. Let me see right now. You don't have the gym reels, bitches. You? You don't have gym bitches. reels. I just crazy. went to the gym. I swear, the crazy. first two weeks, I was just doing cardio, and I was just watching people work out. I was like, what these niggas well, you know, doing you here? Well, you know what it is? I'm sure you guys don't follow gym people either, huh? Nah, hell no. Nah. See, like, my whole reels is, like, UFC, fucking... I don't want to see that shit all fighting, day. Fighting, like, training. That's my bitches. shit. That's why, like, I ain't gonna Look lie. my reel. Let me see. There's no fighting in there, buddy. My shit has biting on it. And I don't even... There's no fighting, no yeah. exercise, food bitches, food. Fucking... Places to go. Uh, yeah, my shit regular. Football, like ball. Yeah, come on. Sports. Regular man out here. Yeah, you got some real manly shit. Look at you. My reels is not <laughs> my reels is not shirt. like that, bro. You feel me? My reels is different. Look at my reels. This nigga said motivational speakers? Like, nah, hell nah. He did. Oh yeah, your shit already look different from mine. The first two was fighters. Bitches. Into the mic. Bitches. You got some UFC. That's Bird fighting. Sports. It's sports. I mean, that nigga gonna be exercising on that motherfucker, though. Yeah, football. See, I got, you see at mine, like, a bunch Your of shit just training. fighting and training. Yeah. There's like, some eating going on, but it's mostly just training in UFC. That's why I be so motivated to train all the time, because I'm always looking at my reels. Like, when I don't want to train, I'll see some nigga training, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna go train. You know why I'm motivated? I look at them pictures of my old stuff. It's like, we gotta get back to this. See, what it we is ain't going me, back. What it is for me, and, like, it's going down again, the gut. I hate my fucking gut. Yeah, I need to get this. It's Somebody's so DM me what I'm gonna do with my hard. gut, because I'm about to get this motherfucker. 
it's the Tell arms, me, uh, the legs, my pants. Are I got this my extra shirt. skin because I lost so much weight and shit. Like, and I want to get tatted too. I want to get hit. So I need to feel me get. I just want to get this gut down. If I can get this, once the down, gut down, that's a fucking rap, buddy. It's so fucking hard. But no, that's rap. really where the eating comes in, like the protein. I feel like what I've been watching is like the protein, high protein. It's like I heard. I'm trying really to eat cut. that much though. I hate fucking eating. I can't eat 250 fucking grams of protein. I could if it's like a drink. If I, could, drink if I keep them, drinking it. If you drink the protein. So the but drinks I drink are like 24. You, you, you want to drink a big fucking, fucking. Nah, my shit is no, this. Yeah, and they'd be like 20 grams inside 26. that. Yo, so two, think about it. Two like, of them. That's, that's already, So that's can you drink like honey. four or five of those? No, nah, I'll just do that twice and eat some food. I'm damn near finna cut right here. Your body maxes out at a certain gram amount of grams of protein that it uses. And everything else you shit out. Right. So like that that part I don't know what. I just hate why those you... little milkshakes. Like wow, I like, yeah. everybody hate them shit. You, you know just gotta accept them, bro. Yeah, that's you just what gotta it is. do I just... water, <sighs> chug that shit. Them shit is fire. No, I can drink it, but like then I'll get like it fucks your stomach up. Yeah, I'll be like, Ugh. yeah, you I get like get... nauseous when I drink too much of. I'll be like, like I'll drink it the first two days after a workout, but then like once type I keep... stomach, you got a girl stomach. Nah, it's just like the the milky protein. You you put them you do them with milk? No, I get the. No, I don't put it in protein. I put it in the. Uh, you just get oats in the water and shake it up. No, I got the. I get the. Uh, throw it back together. You feel me? I just buy them like prepackaged. You feel me? I get them in the. Uh, you know the little bottles. And yeah. Shit. The Mind over like, matter. I was at the core fair think. life, man. I had the Seven Eleven. Right to work out. Bask. You do it like very casual, huh? It's like it's boom. I'll be doing. I'm getting. I, in my I be getting gas and just drink the motherfucker. You Why feel don't they me? have like, a protein shit? Why do they only have vanilla, chocolate, and and strawberry type shit? Why don't they have like Gatorade flavor? That's what I'm like, trying to say. If it like was some like some normal, fruity. like something that doesn't yeah. taste like that, because because the, the shit is milk. Like it's milk oats. It's powder, you can't yeah, powder. like it's milk oats and shit. You can't put that in no juice. That's it nasty. is protein and protein is. Is that what is that what protein's made out of? I'm guessing. I mean, that's why it's all like mostly like those type of drinks, powder and shit, like. I don't know what the protein powder is made out of. I think it's just raw protein, whatever. I mean, if you can find protein, protein powder and just dump it in your water. Like, what the fuck is protein now that we're thinking about it? Protein is... We know, know what protein is, but I'm saying, like, how would the like protein, protein powder? powder? Hold what on. What is that made out of? It? I don't want to know about the protein powder, man. I'm, you know what I'm saying? You go ahead oh, yeah, whey. But what the fuck is whey made out of? Ain't that creatine? Weight. Whey. No, W-H-E-Y. I'm, yeah, it's made out of weight. No, I'm Ain't that creatine? Yeah, but I'm on the gut right now. I need to get this fucking creatine. gut now. <laughs> So Ain't whey creatine? Creatine? No. I want to just fucking stay oh, you in the sauna for like does? two hours. You know what uh, so so protein does? So we're protein powder is from milk. Like powdered milk? Cheese and all that shit, yeah. But you know what protein does, though, is when you work out, um, it burns your no, muscles. No, no. You work out and you tear your muscles. That's Those what you're muscles. doing yeah. when you're doing when you're doing li- when you're lifting. Yeah. You tear the fibers in your muscles and the proteins when you it ingest them. Back. They go through your blood system and they, they. They. That's why you eat meat. That's why meat and steak and chicken and all that shit. I ain't eating steak. I'm just chicken and uh, ground turkey. Just white meat. I do a lot of steak. Steak. I do ground turkey, chicken. I ain't lamb. I do a lot of lamb. Bro. Oh, lamb sounds good. I do and a lot of lamb. Like, I saw always. somebody talking about. Yeah, I always, you see, I always make lamb. I make lamb probably more than even steak. I don't even eat lamb. Who do you think you are, look, Habibi? <laughs> I don't know why. Fuck you should keep making that like goddamn lamb, 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 nigga. <laughs> I be fucking nigga making hella lamb. lamb. I be fucking up the lamb chops. You're black. I lamb do. chops and oxtails. You're fucking Bro, black. they charge us like $30, $40 for lamb chops. You know how much you get lamb chops at, at Ralph's for? How much? 12 bucks for fucking six of them. Why they charge you so much? If you go to the restaurant, that's why I buy them from the store. I just you be going crazy? Fucking going crazy. But you make it with rice? Yeah, you only get fat. I'll do, <laughs> I'll do uh, <laughs> rice, lamb, and then like uh, probably like either like asparagus or like Brussels sprouts. I do a lot of Brussels sprouts. Inside, I don't even do macaroni and uh, potato. That's so crazy. I don't like potato. <laughs> I don't like mashed potatoes in the side. I like. I'm more of a protein vegetable, and then like I like a light rice. I don't really like like mashed potatoes. Niggas like love their rice. Cause I feel like once you do macaroni, mashed potatoes, that defeats the whole purpose. Like you fucked up. Yeah. Like, you might as well. You, got, like, you, you gotta as keep as it kind of plain. When you're in that like mode, you gotta go plain. Niggas eating the macaroni. I ain't. I don't like macaroni. No it's funny too, cause I bought macaroni like the little packages, like to make, make for it, dinner, and I'm, I still haven't even made it for the shit. I have a. I bought strawberry milk the powder yeah. like a year ago, and I still ain't drunk it. Still ain't made it. Huh? Everybody t- told me it was too fattening. Yeah, cause like once you get that, I'm like, damn, for real. Yeah, I'm not trying to. Like, it's still in my cabinet. I love this shit too. I, I've been thinking about it. Like, I'm gonna drink something one day. Yeah, I don't wanna. Like I say, I don't wanna fuck up right now. Especially I had posted now. niggas talking shit like, "You drink that?" I was like, "What the fuck? Can't drink strawberry milk." Niggas talk about everything. I've been drinking my whole life. You hear about this ribbon my shit? Yeah, what's up with that? She she 
He slid on my nigga Papoose. Yeah. Nigga Papoose hey. holding her down Easy six years. That's a battle, though. Easy to block, bro. That, that, that shit was crazy. Was... What battle? The Geechee. Geechee Gotti versus. I Easy seen the clips, captain. but I didn't actually listen I to it. And you know what's fucked thing. up is that Easy to Block Captain is the, the new hottest battle rapper in That's battle his rap. name? Really? Easy to Block Captain. Yeah, bro, horrible. He be... That's a horrible name. Bro, he's snapped. Horrible rapper. He's from New York? No, he's of course. From, yeah. from no, he's from Pennsylvania. I don't know if he's from okay. Philly or he Pittsburgh. He has some like East Coast. That's a crazy you know, he's name. He's from Philly. Easy to block captain. Easy to block captain. That's some East Coast shit dealer, for sure. Ex drug dealer like type persona like persona. This nigga just automatically sprinkle drug dealer, dealer on him. What you do that for? Because I watch his battle. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> My bad. Hey, bro. He's, I was like, this nigga just said. That's what sucks, bro. Is that he was like. AC said drug dealer. He's black. Drop some fucking with him. Bro, he must be like 23. He traps some drug in her dust on him. <laughs> and he's supposed to be like 23 years old. Look, AC gave the bike. <laughs> Young nigga. He's been, he been battling battle rap for years. Ten. Word. Yeah. Who's knocked him out? I don't I like that. Why, though? Over the over shit? Ugh. Damn, but hey, he's bro, fucking it's now, not, though. It's that's not crazy. Easy's fault. That's, Re- that's on Remy. <gasps> nah, yeah, I'm not putting it on, and, bro. And what proves it is what, what Geechee I'm said. I'm not putting it on, Geechee bro. Geechee said, like, why you, why, where's Papoose? He's at every other battle. Where, why isn't he here? First no, of all, I feel you, but I'm saying. Like, anytime you fuck with somebody's wife, you're a piece of shit. Yeah, that's like, some crazy shit. That's like, what the fuck? Like, we don't condone In that. my old life. Now, like, fucking a nigga bitch that's just his bitch is <laughs> different than fucking life. a nigga's not bitch that's his wife. It's certain lines of the man I that think you can't it, cross. You fuck with a man or woman, it's, it's risky. I you agree can die you. off that shit. Nigga I agree with you, but I don't think that's stopping you. very you got a girl or a girlfriend. A nigga done went to work for this bitch, then had kids. That's a, a whole family little situation. It's different, yeah. you feel it's me? Fa- like, like I said, niggas get smoked over girlfriends. So imagine his wife. Bitches just hoes. So like your wife, I feel like I feel like that's crossing the line. Yeah, that's a little. I feel like even as like a, if you a gangster street, and we don't talk about the street code. That's like sh- that's part of street. That's code. some shit you shouldn't even be doing for real. What, for real. But what? Even but the mafia don't fuck with that. You which what? which you person? Do you f- I had to put that in there. <laughs> but which one do you feel betrayed more by the dude or your wife? Your wife too. Your wife. But the dude, I don't know the nigga the though. Dude, the nigga like you can't be mad at the nigga though. Nah, but look. You can't it's really shoot. the female. Nah, you can't too That's because like you're a piece of shit. You got no fucking yeah for sure. You but niggas no gonna do what niggas do. Nah, hell no. Nah. You but got the no... female should never even cross that. I line. feel like when you go married, it's like you got no boundaries, bro. Look, I like, agree with to, like you ain't got no boundaries. Like like nigga, like yeah, like I fuck fuck the bitch too. But it's shit, like, I'm single. Yeah, but she ain't got no fucking boundaries. You know that I don't. Married. But she she's the one married. You know she, she pays married. me. Yeah, yeah, she's the one married though. She she books me for my my. No, she battles. Married. What? She owns she owns her own like Chrome is it her own battle league. That's where they fought at. I mean, that's where they battled at. That's some crazy My shit. My whole thing is like this. If you fuck with a married woman. Don't fuck with shit. my wife, boy. Yeah, you're a piece of shit. Like, that's are you like not even that you're just a piece of shit. You're a bold motherfucker. You yeah. bold, bold as hell. Hell. Yeah. Yeah. I feel you. You that's right. How I feel. Imagine Morally, fucking fucking yes. somebody's wife in a like, nigga crib, like yeah, like imagine if Papoose just smacked his ass, but like, what if he smoked his ass? You, you can't even be mad at it because it's like be mad at it because that's, be that's a crime of passion. That's a crime of passion. <laughs> <laughs> if that happened, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. That's a love crime. That's snitching. Yeah, that's a love crime for sure, huh? They had you know those. What's so funny, you get less time for that. Word. You get, you get less time. Crimes of passion, like if you kill your lover, like while y'all arguing and like on some stabbing shit. You can, you get less time for that. Don't tell don't tell months. people that. Yeah, it's a crime of passion. You get life. Don't, you get, you get don't tell people that. People months. might start sliding on their levers like, fuck you. That's a real thing. It's a crime of passion. That's some crazy shit for real. Yeah. Or like, it is some shit too. Like, you, like I think like if you shoot a person, like if you empty a clip on them, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes it's like a crime. It's a, uh, I think that's like a crime of passion or some shit too. Like If you empty the whole clip? Yeah. Like, ah. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Instead of like a Just premeditated, like a, yeah, premeditated, pre premeditation. I feel like has premeditated is first degree murder. Second degree murder is like killing somebody in a fucking argument or like you kill you know on some like a, in like you st- fought a nigga and killed him. You should me or you shot at you had in sh- the moment. Yeah, you were shooting at a nigga and you killed him. Like I was just shooting at him. I didn't mean to kill him. You know what I'm saying? That's why niggas get second degree murder. And then you got uh, manslaughter. And manslaughter is like when you accidentally kill somebody. What about like self defense? Car accident. Uh, is that considered a murder? Like, I mean, it's a murder, but I feel like self defense. I don't know what that falls under. Would that fall under second degree? 
Because mm-hmm. I was trying to defend You're myself. You're defending yourself in the moment. It wasn't I don't know how the rules go with that. Yeah, it wasn't discussed boy. before. Self-defense in the second degree. And it, and it wasn't, and it wasn't, it wasn't like a, I was driving a car that hit somebody that, that little killed Tim, them. little Tim. But them, not them laws go different from states, though. State to yeah. state. Yeah, it's just different. I heard Gavin is trying to, he's trying to bag guns again, and he's upping the tax on bullets. They'll never, they yeah. will never do that. That's not happening. Gavin though. in California, what are you talking about? No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying they'll never be able to ban guns. No, he's banning guns in California. What are you talking about? There's plenty of states where you can't have a gun. Outside, I'm talking about like you can't hold guns. Oh, uh, no carry. A concealed carry is a different Or any story. type of carry. Like, you can't, he, I think they want guns in the house type shit. We don't even really have concealed you know carry out here. You know yeah, we got concealed up. carry. Barely, like. Right? We just got it. That's what I'm saying, barely. Yeah. No, you have it. They just have strict laws on That's it. Like, so only certain people you can You can't even really have it, have have it on you. You got to be in the... Gotta now you got to go to a class. I'm going to get my shit. Love compartment the federal, all the type federal of shit. Law, the federal amendment or where the... Says that you want to have that motherfucker on, you go to Arizona, if man. If they say they have a reason... Go to AZ. You want to slide with that motherfucker on, you go to AZ. I feel like we need some carry laws out here. Hell no. Nah. They're going to start niggas blowing even more. Nope. Nah, well, hell nah. maybe in like California. But think about Texas. Think about Texas. crazy. Niggas, niggas, say Texas is less niggas crime argue what? Because Texas has less crime because niggas, niggas have guns. Like because they, everybody n- knows Less robberies, carry. less public Yeah, like if everybody was carrying, like more people could carry than Not in California. You've never seen the video of the guy that walked into the diner? We're ignorant as fuck. Yeah, that's why I said maybe in California, yeah. When I was in New Mexico, everybody was carrying. Oh, New Mexico's crazy. I almost got into at a fucking club. New Mexico, everybody shooting. I got into it with a club out there, some fucking, like, I'm just chilling at the fucking bar. I want to get into, I'm not getting into it with nobody, no gun state. Look, let me tell you. Fight. <laughs> you nigga, shoot, like, so. I'm chilling. The first, the dude's You got cool. it. Hey, you up? got it. I'm in your state. Look, they start talking to me all crazy and shit. There's a dude, one dude, so he's all like, yeah, you're from L.A.? Nah. You're in the wrong place. Nah, he didn't give me a time chance to ask. So you're in the wrong I, I, fast enough. He's like, you're in the wrong fucking place. This ain't this ain't the place. And, you know, I'm, all, I'm trying to swing my nuts a little bit, but not get too crazy. So we're going back and forth. Nigga peel out on me. Oh, hell no. <laughs> right, then, look, peeling out the plug, gang. New Mexico? Fuck yeah. Then, uh, so like, nigga, he tried he to peel He was drunk as fuck. That's all he, he do. like, you don't know about here. We chop up bodies out here and leave them in the desert. And once he said that, I was like, look, man, I don't want no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, look, man, I don't want no problem. And I tried to get up. He tried to, like, start getting at me. So, like, I'm turning around talking to him. Luckily, it was a nigga from the gym that was randomly at the club. So, me and him both getting up on him. We all about to scrap me, him, his homie, all about to like low key about to get down and then big ass security just come big big ass like six foot six like, ass. Get the fuck out of here. Black nigga just grab that nigga. You been starting trouble all day. <laughs> it, was just, it was so it was tense. It's a movie. It was a movie. Bro, it was so it tense. Was when just it was just gonna pop four. off. They could, get your ass out of here. Bro, he did his stuff. He made the niggas all like, oh I'm sorry. Like you know, <laughs> Big <it> was, ass <laughs> nigga. <laughs> The After he was, peeled out on you. Hell <laughs> me, they got their shirt off. What's up, nigga? We chop hey, bodies up and leave them in the desert. Yeah. Hey. You got it, folk. That's too crazy. That was so funny. Where's security at, matter of fact? <laughs> Where's security at, matter of fact? What the no. fuck going on out here? It was so it's tense, too crazy bro. now. Was, like, I'm all like, oh, I was about to go. Because, like, you know, the other dudes from the gym, so I'm like, obviously, we're going to beat the shit out of these niggas. But I'm like, I don't know. These niggas got guns in the car. And he got guns and all like, type of shit. Because he had a little rolly on. He had, like, the fucking... Uh, he had like a little fucking little he had a, he had a dagger. He had a, yeah, so he had a, a dagger. Hat, so I'm like, he might be like a little desperado, a little cartel nigga. I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? He got powder and guns. Yeah, we in New Mexico. He was Mexican or black? Hell yeah, he was Mexican. He was or was he Native American? Might have been Native American. He was probably like a like, like how we have like hood homie, like cholos and shit out here. You know, they probably have like more like niggas that are connected to the cartel. Like he like definitely looked like a drug dealer. Uncles he didn't look like a game banger. He looked like a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see, we don't fuck with that out here. He looked like on some Breaking Bad shit, nigga. Like it was on some. He was in the bad middle shit. of a desert in the club <laughs> finna get cracked, and that sounds like, crazy as nah, hell. Once he said chopping up bodies and shit, I was like. I don't want no problem. Where the car at? Yeah, I was like, I don't want no, I like, I don't want no problem, bro. Where the like, car at? We ain't doing all that yeah, tonight. Like, Hold on, man. Yeah, right. We not fighting? Yeah, where the car at? Shoot it out. Might scrap it out, about nigga. Chopping up bodies? Chopping up bodies in the desert. Hold on, nigga. Nigga, hell no. You might get away with this. Where I the car at? <laughs> Look, I'm thinking like you my might niggas, get away with that. My niggas ain't even here. I came here to train. I, ain't I can't no even turn up for real. I'm pissed. I ain't no rap shit here, nigga. I just came to chill. I came for one drink. Can't even have a drink. Yeah, can't even have a drink. So, nigga. This nigga said. Do that right here. But the security just ragdolled him like a little bitch. And I know he was like, his, yeah, I was so happy. I took the security. I was like, bro, good look. Gave him a little twenty, like good looking, bro. <laughs> 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 it's a like, hey yo, bro. you saved me, bro. I didn't want to do that right now. Like, Here the dub, too. like. Cause they were like, yeah, y'all stay in. That was your personal security all night, niggas. Look at you, good. Was cool. You good? It was cool. I had to show him a little love. You know, what I'm saying? You follow him on Insta. Yeah, I need to. <laughs> You know, you got to hire niggas. This niggas they gave him a... Like, bro, that was nigga, crazy, bro. yeah. The other states, you got to hire niggas. <laughs> he gave him one of these, like, you might... 
You see what you see now, huh? Like you that shit was crazy. Mil- you gotta move military in the other state. That man. shit is funny. That's why I don't, I don't I don't do too much other states because I'm it's not I'm not from here, bro. I don't know. You know what's so funny? On. I felt so vulnerable after that situation happened. Like luckily I, I had to do the gym that helped me. Luckily I had the security guard. But then I realized I was like, damn, like any nigga, any state, you got it, bro. You know what I felt? I'm like? not from here. Remember that episode of Snowfall where Franklin and, and, and what's it called? Get lost in the uh, Mexican hood. Like, like, <laughs> Franklin, look, it didn't matter how much money Franklin had, nigga. We finna like, kill y'all. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are dying. Remember, remember that shit when they got I lost. Eat, I can eat ten. ten. <laughs> We're not coming for that, buddy. You're dead. I was like, nigga, you ain't in your hood, frankly. You ain't got it's no everywhere. Room. The money don't matter no more. <laughs> the money don't matter. This is like, where you die at for sure. <laughs> you feel me? It's the, end of the, it's the end of the show. I was like, it don't matter if you a big mob boss, whatever, nigga. Like, you Niggas got, just want to kill you yeah. right here. This is, you're everywhere. Yeah, you ain't got no pool. That money gone. And niggas man. like, money? You don't fuck about that shit. Man, you finna bro. die in this bitch. We're gonna take your money anyway. Because at, at one point, he told me, he was like, man, you're fucking, you're out here in fucking New Mexico training. You're a fucking cop. And I was like, bitch, I ain't no fucking cop. Like, Why the fuck gotta be a cop? Yeah, I was like, you know, and I like, would have got me mad. I'm I'm a cop. Insta on him. I was like, I ain't no fucking cop. And he was all like, this nigga said I flexed. Yeah, I did, I flexed. I ain't him. no cop. Ain't no <laughs> That's look, the he cop. He's gonna tell me. He's gonna tell me, look. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not a cop. Look at this Instagram. <laughs> fucking I'm idiot. Star, I do shit. drugs. <laughs> that was insulting when he called me a cop. I'm like, you don't know no fucking cop. I'd have been mad too if he called me a cop. He was all like, I was like, oh shit, this nigga's serious. He's trying to chop. I don't me got up. no Instagram. That's yeah, nothing yeah, to okay. me. This nigga really. Oh, we just hit your phone. I feel like people like that though, like not saying anything about him. I don't see him, but <laughs> most of these, if they loud like that, you think you really doing it? Or he, he was a straight bitch. He, he was a straight like bitch. That? He was a straight bitch, but. It's just a principle, like I feel like you like around. You be loud. You can't, can't fuck like, around. A real Not saying, but somebody who's like cut like bodies that. up you know in the desert. I didn't want to test it. Hell no! Nah. Nigga, I'm in New Mexico. Cause I obviously could have whooped his ass. Like I, would whoop I don't want to whip your ass out here. You probably yeah. gonna chop me up. Yeah, you even if I do whip your ass. You no, I'm that. saying I could have whooped. <laughs> Say that. Me and the uh, homie, but the yeah, homie, nigga, dub. The homie, the homie, the homie that was out from the gym. He, he was like, his bro, ass. he was like, I wasn't about to fight him, bro. So I'm gonna pull out my knife and stab him in his fucking neck. Like he told me, he was all like, I'm he, not going to jail in New Mexico, nah, nigga. He told me he was like, I was. I'm glad you just do that, nigga. He said you finna kill him. He's like, I wasn't finna fucking fight him. He had his hand in his bag. I thought, cause I was thinking like, I was gonna beat these niggas' ass. We just got to go out of here. Cause you been fighting all week. You forgot motherfuckers have guns and nah, shit. Nah, look, what happened, <laughs> the next day I go to the gym and my coach... Nigga had a bag with that dagger on him. I just <laughs> told you niggas be having nigga. a in the, club, in the strip club, here. nigga. That's why you don't argue with niggas in different states, nigga. Bitch ass nigga, we uh, was gonna fight. The gym, the gym dude, the next day I see the, the manager of the gym, he got a big ass pistol on. I'm like, you keeping the pistol on you? He's like, hell yeah, it's New Mexico, it's crazy out here. He's like, ain't nobody about to finna fight you out the gym. <laughs> and I told him the story, he's like, yeah, bro. He's like, don't try to fight nobody outside the gym. That's what I'm bro. telling you. But I tell niggas that anyways, like, I love fighting this shit, but like, a nigga will fuck? Power, nobody's power gonna fucking try to fight. Nobody's gonna let me do no fucking MMA move on them at the gym. Niggas gonna try to stab me or shoot me. Like, you mean outside the gym? Yeah, outside the gym, yeah. Like, nobody's gonna try to fucking. Hell no. Nah. In the real world, that's why I like fighting because it's like an organized world. Of like yeah, we got we we got we got timer and all types yeah, of shit. Yeah, we got here. all types of shit. But it's like you can't structure. Fuck. And shit. Yeah, there's a structure to it. But it's like I would <laughs> never. Just, but I ain't never been the nigga just to just try to fight a nigga either. You know what I'm saying? I've always since I've gotten older, I always assume like it's to the death when you get older. What? I mean, just anytime you beef with a nigga. nigga. Hell no, this ain't fucking Mortal Kombat, <laughs> like, nigga. I don't feel like anybody's gonna take it. Like nigga soft. ain't finna finish him right I'm, now. I don't feel like nobody's gonna take it soft when you get to this age. I feel like everybody like. If you get into that point where you get in confrontation with somebody, I feel like they're gonna try to kill you. That nigga ain't just out here every day getting an argument with a killer nigga. But unless you like feel also, you, but but I don't give them me arguments though either, bro. That's why why do you want to take it there then? I don't want to take it there. Why do you feel like people do take it there then? I feel like people take it there. No, no, no. I mean, I no. feel like like it's like a not with the age, not with the age. I no. feel like at this age, I feel like if they take it there, it's like on some like nigga try to kill you if you don't know them. 